Wagwan Sports fans, welcome back to another very special episode of Studio Thoughts. I'm your host, Joe Mar. I'm Rush. And this is This Are Sports TV, the place you guys come to get the best, most interesting and riveting sports topics, discussions and debates on the internet. Yes, Steve, before we get into today's live stream, I'm going to see the people that are following fast, bro. Don't forget to like the stream. Leave a comment in the live chat and if you're watching back on the replay, pop those in the comment section. And the most important thing, Joe Mar probably rival this guy. You don't know, he want to upstate me every time. But subscribe, we just reached 6,000 subscribers, bro. That's a big deal, and that's a lot of people. So I have to say massive thanks to all the people that have been supporting us um, on our YouTube journey and keep supporting. Subscribe to the channel if you're not hey, so subscribed. We just reached reach 6K. Bro, mm. that's 300. What are you talking about? Is Where is it? They said we just reached 6k. We literally like 6,300. So that means you're like. We reached 6k like yesterday, bro. It's still fresh. It's still fresh. I'm, I'm going to move by the thousands, bro. Not that many appreciate Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to move by the thousands. All right, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, so. Media look on it as the hundreds. So if a hundreds are moved by, then we've been gone past the six. But if a thousands are moved by, they will just reach 6k. That is it. Sleepy, sleepy. Yes, so the one more thing for us, though. Share the video, which is more important than subscribing, as, as he did allude to that I would have mentioned. Because if each and every one of you guys can share the video and get us at least six subscribers, you know how many subscribers that get us. So he said he said subscribing is the most important thing. I I I, I agree it's important, but my thing, sharing the video is a bit more important. We can all agree on that because six subscribers is better than one. Allow me to tell. I don't boss. No, I fight. <laughs> but I can share it in, but the people that share it in them will subscribe. No, but that's how I say ensure that them get at least six subscribers. Nah, I'm not fight. I'm not fight. People, we are here to talk about. Bro, if I, if I want thing, somebody will call me Joe Moino. You know? I've been getting that since day one. Let's say, come on. I party at this point. <laughs> a, a good thing that I know my full name because they would have spelled it wrong all the time. So I appreciate the rush. You don't know that. But big up yourself. John Paul, big up yourself, Eco Reeks, and Drew Fortis, Osen Brown. Yes, even big, big up yourself. But we never talk talked about the reggae boys, bro. Uh, we played against Trinidad and Tobago on Saturday, where we lost the game 1-0. I want to kind of break it down, you know, really get into what we saw before we even preview the next game tomorrow. Yes, even so. I could just say, bro. You did in the in the Montego Bay, in the Mo Bay. In a second city, in it. Yes, bro. So, may I want you to tell me what did you see from the reggae boys? You know, in naked eye, you were there. I'm watching Pan Guna Street. Big up to Guna for that. Really appreciate it. You um, can't you can say why Pan the naked because you said with the naked eye. Me, me I can make it. So, I can't why that. No. People, can I why? Jesus. Naked yeah. eye. Let me know in the comments, please. May I beg you? Cause I feel like something can why, but I'm hundred percent sure. Please let me know. Carry on, my brother. What did you see from the reggae boys on Saturday? Um, first of all, before speaking about the, the football itself, I have to speak about the, the environment and the field that was provided for the players to play football on. At, at one point, I was wondering if this was the long jump pit or if this was was the the actual field of play because it was woeful at least it wasn't hard but the reason why it wasn't hard was because it's like beach football they were literally playing on sand mm. and that's incredible and bro as you know if you run up and down in the sand there's going to be holes in the sand because yeah. the sand is soft the yeah. sand is malleable so that's what we saw a lot of um, mounds a lot of hills and a lot of holes because the field was like half sand and it was in that bad? It did look bad, it did look bad, but the stream still, you know. But being there, sometimes it normally appear better when you're there. It really that bad. Emil talks, Emil talks, um, he might, he might speak on it. So I'm not gonna really speak too much on it. But I wish I had taken some photographs. I think Emil had taken some of like of like particular areas, bro. And mm. the absolutely remarkable how bad it was the feel was like i was was as though playing on sand yeah you know peter angus i'm uh, not in the same vein that you're saying it but that is actually a point i was watching the game and there were parts of the game where trinidad 
and Tobago, they were moving the ball way better than we were. We saw them put in five, six, seven, eight, up to ten passes together in the first half. But I may say, why we can't do that? You know, we were unable to do what they were doing. But even though that is true, the field looked awful, bro. You could see brown patches. Brown patches and an international football friendly field, no, bro. Brown patches. Bro, that was sand. A sand. I didn't run grass. I didn't just grass. No, it was sand, bro. It was literally sand. And and Peter Augustus said TNT play on the same field and so stop complaining. I'm sure if you ask TNT, they'd be saying the same exact thing as we are. What the hell was this field? And I'm not making an excuse for Jamaica's loss. I'm not saying that the field cost the loss. And I don't think anybody said that. But the field was awful. So, you know, I'm sure if you ask Trinidad, they'd be saying the same thing. And that's to, to, to Peter Augustus' point. So, yes, Trinidad did play on the same woeful field. I don't understand what is the point. The field was terrible. That's the first thing I must note. Um, the last time we went, when, we, when the reggae girls played there, I, I saw the field and I was like, bro, this is absolutely atrocious. So many, many fields are better than this one at Chatting Hall. And then I don't know how they managed to outdo themselves in that regard. Because yesterday, it was just, I mean, on Saturday, sorry, it was just embarrassing. It was absolutely oh, yeah. embarrassing to know that that's how we're putting out on a field in, a, in a, a, an official international friendly. I think they played the game down there just to... Was it an obligation that they had with somebody from Woi Woi that they that they must do this probably from before the field was this no, bad or they just not, to get it? Not an obligation. As in Jamaica, from time to time plays plays football games. You know. Yeah, bro. But if it, if it's bad, then don't play there. Play yeah. two games at stadium. Play one at Tony Spalling. Like don't. Like no, as in, as in you said one at Tony Spalling. I don't. That would have defeat the purpose playing one at Tony Spalling and one at National Stadium. May I say uh, there could be other things. It could be money. It could be whatever. May I say there are. I think things. I think it was a it was a situation where Western Jamaica is a part of Jamaica as well. You know, yeah. Western Jamaica is 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 a part of Jamaica as well. So, um, this was a case where you know it was a local friendly, a, a, a local based team, or predominantly locally based team. And they wanted to, to, to give Western Jamaica a share of the the, 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 the football. Yeah, I'm all for it. I'm all for it. it. I think it's important. In addition to the fact that the bleachers was all but 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 sold out. Yeah. Also the bleachers the bleachers was 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 extremely filled. You know the atmosphere for the game. You know despite the the, the result was a very good one. And I think that is something that, that that Eastern Jamaica just does not provide on the football front. Which is why I mean personally I think. Jamaica should play their, their home games at Tony Sparling or Sabina Park. Yeah, and when we push it. In my opinion, yeah, in my opinion, rather than rather than National Stadium. That's yeah. what I believe. You know, so um and what happened at Chatham Hall, you know, showed that a smaller stadium can probably provide a better atmosphere. And minus the running track, you know, it would have been a good atmosphere. So I think that's why the game was played at Chatham Hall. As for the fact that they were they were sand pits on the field and there were like 353,000 different breeder grass on the field uh, um you know the atmosphere was was not terrible you know i enjoyed yeah, right. and, and i could and i could tell that i could tell that, that especially in our vlog releasing after this live people go and watch that um i could tell there was a good atmosphere the, the, the crowd they were into it they could hear even when whisper came on and he got the ball the crowd just a uh, real up and you can you can get the feeling from the videos but I'm all for, you know, spreading the football across the country. We wish we'd have three or four stadiums where we could have just go different parts of the country go watch the reggae boys play. But if that is going to come at a detriment to the football itself, bro, don't do it until it, it's up to scratch. That's all I'm saying. So I'm ready to think that maybe they had an agreement with the owners. Of, 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 I don't know. Maybe they have an agreement that they have before. Independence Park on Kachinara. Right, so. Independent Park Limited. So it's not an agreement with the owners. Mm. There probably an agreement with politicians or people from but the yeah. owners. I'm I'm sure the owners would probably prefer it to be paid at stadium because yeah. stadium are gonna make them more money. But catching yeah. out built by Independent Park Limited. Yeah, I agree. I agree. But it's weird. But but talk some more about the game though. You were there. What 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 did you see? How were the you talk about the atmosphere a while ago? What were the people saying? Um, well, well, you know, we, we, we we're in the stands. A lot of people were camera shy, but I did get to speak to many of the supporters. And all in all, people were looking forward to seeing Jordan Fletcher. You know, he's a, a, a native. 
of Western Jamaica. You know, him coming back, he got a big, a big, um, a big ovation. And obviously, the man of the hour recently signed to, to Chelsea FC, um, Vision Whisper Richards. You know, he got just as big an ovation as as Jardine Fletcher. You know, and and they were closely followed by Adrian Mariapa, which I believe in all realms of Jamaican football, Mariapa should be warmly received. So I'm happy to see that that respect perpet- perpetuates throughout the nation. So that was something I was happy to see. Um, but yeah, people are buzzing, you know, people are excited to see national team football back in Western Jamaica again. But I think because of the lack of good playing surfaces and lack of facilities to accommodate football in Western Jamaica, that's why they don't get more football in Western Jamaica. Um, but yeah, um, the football itself, you know, um, the teams came out. I saw Hargrimson playing a 4-4-2. And I'm going to say this right here, right now. 4-4-2 is not the way. You know, um, I, I like what Hargrims is doing off the field. I like how he's building his program. You know, I like how he's invested in Jamaican football. I like how he's calling the right names. I like how he's, he's um, putting together a program, emphasizing on youth, you know, emphasizing on, on cohesiveness and togetherness. I like a lot of the phil- the philosophical and systematic implementation that he's bringing towards Jamaican football. What I don't like is the 442. I'm not a fan of it. But I mean, we still have, we, we, it's only been two games, right? It's only been two games, but with the 442, with the personnel that we have, that's just not, that's just not going to, to result in, in our best football. And hopefully tomorrow I can get to see him to ask him a question about the 442. And if that's 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 how he plans to continue to play. Because 442, that that first of all, there's no link of play between the back line and the forwards. You know, so what we saw yesterday was still something that we really hated and, and Theodore Whitmore um hated and Theodore Whitmore for, which was playing balls from defense to the forwards. And we saw Mariapa attempting to play a lot of balls over to Trevante, to Trevante Stewart. Um, because of the 4-4-2 situation, Ravel Morrison was extremely deep and as such did not get the chance to express any of his creativity. You know, we saw um, dangerous plays by Omar Hutchinson and in the second half, the way that Atkins kind of came alive. But because of how deep they were asked to play, being left and right midfielders rather than left and right wingers, I think it really inhibited their style of play because I think those those two are more attacking players and if you have them so deep they will not get to express themselves as much as they can. Um, you know we saw Harvey come on and tucked in the midfield, you know, we saw Omar Hutchinson came on and, and pushed in the midfield um, but I just don't think the 4 4 allows for, for sufficient link up play towards the forwards. Um, you know, just to cut it, you know, Yeah, man, go on. This goes against what the coach was saying, because I watched a press conference from him last week, and he said that what you should expect from Jamaica is free flow football and playing to our strengths, speed and whatever. No, we can we can we can ask it. If you're going to play again, play with, with your strengths being speed, 442 is not the formation. No, where I stand in this 442 thing is it could be a results driven thing where he understands that 442. If you play 4-4-2 against the lesser opposition in Kankakov, you're going to win. And I guess it gives you a better chance with the bigger teams. Now, is this the way I think we should go? With what with what we have? No. But I'm not so quick to criticize it just yet. I want to see some more results. I want to see some competitive games. I want to see it with our better players. Before I jump in and say, all right, coach, I need to change it up. No. You know, so right off the bat, do I think it's going to work? Can't say it. I'm not sold on it. Because we saw it against Argentina. Liam Bailey was a right midfielder. Bobby Reed was a left midfielder. Daniel Johnson and Ravel in the middle. Which, if you have play 4-4-2, you can't have Daniel Johnson and Ravel Morris name. You don't have no defensive co- um, coverage, bro. You see, Mr. That can't be it. And we don't have def- we don't have defensive midfielders where we can say, we feel secure playing with two in the middle. Would that be a diamond? Would that be a flat two? We just don't have the players to do it. What we have is speed. We have good enough defenders where we can play a four at the back. We don't even need to play three, even though I would like to see the three. We can play four, we can get away with that. But we need to take advantage of our wide players. Bobby Reed, Liam Bailey, Shema Nichols, who is a goal scorer. Get them all up the pitch as fast as possible. Now, I can say that on Saturday, I saw so, you know, some spells at the game where we were trying to get ball wide. We were overlapping some of the times. Omar Atkinson got it, got it wide and tried to create from there. We saw some crosses into the box. Did it quite work. 
never work. We can't say we say free play football, which he promised. We created a lot of opportunities from out wide, especially the brand new left back. Who will be a right back? Sorry, Javian Brown. But I think this kid, this kid will be a right back because he's actually right footed. Um, Dexter Lembi, Lembi, Lembi Kisa. Or Lembi Saka, however his name is pronounced. I'm a struggle every time when you say Demba. De, de, you know Demba, Dexter? Bro, I'm a journalist, bro. I forget it, I forget it, I forget it. You know, I, 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 I'll figure it out soon or soon enough. Matter of fact, tomorrow I'll ask him. Tomorrow I'll ask him myself. Um, how is your last name pronounced? But he was very impressive yesterday. And and, and upon watching him, I was like, finally, we, we, we got a solid young wing back for mm-hmm. the future. Um... <clears throat> Yeah, I said the same for the next for the next window. As in, bro, as I said, Dexter is, is a right back. No, I'm talking about on Saturday's game. I can't say the same for the. Oh for no, right, but, but we have, as I said, we have we have a Javier Brown is currently um playing in the MLS, and we have Amari Bell, Greg Lee, Kemar Lawrence, Alva So we, we have we have um we have wide wide defenders who who are more competent than the ones that we have in the JPL. So I'm not necessarily. I'm not, not necessarily worried worried about about the situation. Then be Saka and ask now, Zaja. We can't say Saka. That's funny. Anyway, so so I was impressed with him and how he pushed the attack and how well he got back on defense. You know, he really helped Dwayne Atkinson on that wing. You know, he really he really um, was a crutch for Dwayne for Dwayne Atkinson, who wasn't having an outstanding first half. He got in good squares. Yeah, he, he he has um very good good football and IQ bro and he's technically gifted and he's such a young player. I was very impressed by him. And I think I think playing playing the four at four at the back or a five at the back or as you would say a three at the back with wing backs. I just call it a five at the back. Um I think he'd be the perfect type of wing back for that situation. So, so I was very impressed with, 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 with his performance, you know. Um and I think I think if with, with, with wing backs like him and Greg Lee, we can afford to push our wide midfielders further up the field. And I don't think we need two forwards that are in and around each other's space. So I think we can allow one for either Mikhail Antonio or Shemar Nicholson to really be able to dominate the box and have somebody playing off them, whether it be a half forward, a, num- a false number nine or a number ten, you know, that, that is playing behind. That fo- that forward and then attempt to get get into holding midfielders. I think that would be the perfect situation because um, the, the the wing back that we saw yesterday he, he shows us that we can push our, our wide men up the field. We don't have to be playing with midfielders. We don't have to be playing two lines of four. I think that's regressive, and I don't think it it will provide us with ample opportunities going forward. Especially the sparks that Omar Hutchins showed out wide and in the midfield i genuinely believe that if Hutchins was given a chance to play further up the field as a winger or right behind the forwards as a midfielder he would definitely create a world of damage and i think that's what we need to implement so i'm not really sold on the 442 considering that we don't have an a, 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 a isaac Hayden or or a kevin stewart you know um back in the day you know we don't have a ruder fasting to sit and talk into that into that particular position you know the best we have right now is devon williams and kevin lambert so if we're playing a 4-4-2, I think those would be the only two midfielders that would fit in that system. You know, Devin Williams like a kind of eight that can progress it. Kevin Lambert a kind of destroyer in a sense. But those two aren't good enough. What we do have is a Ravel. We have a Omar Hutchinson. Right? We have a Leon Bailey. That's the type of players that we do have. So I think we have to play to our strengths. And it has to be, we have to play a destroyer. And hopefully we can have a good central midfielder. And we have to have people who who are creative right behind the forwards two forwards not in today's game yeah can can it can it can it do the job though that's the thing so yes it's not going to can can 442 do the job so it's not going to be attractive i can tell you that and the way i see the way i see the way i start we play against argentina and then saturday against Trinidad and tobago i can't say we're trying to play attractive football you know but at the same time yeah and how you play attractive football playing with 442 how but the coach, the coach promised free throw in football. The coach promised playing to our strength. So, so bro, is this for us to get the job done? Bro, there's the, the gap between the forwards and the midfield is too wide. So it can't go be free throw in football. And if you're going to use say, a Jordan Fletcher and a Trevor Stewart or a Mikel Antonio and a Shamar Nicholson, I would assume that you're getting you're trying to get in squares in, which we did see they tried to get in out of squares. Right? We did see them trying to play direct. Jordan Fletcher playing a bit off of the number nine. But that's not um that's not good for free-flowing football 
So you're not going to get free flowing football playing 4-4-2. Four, 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 I think 4-2-3-1 or 4-3-3 three, three is, is more suitable for our situation. Or what I think, a 5-3-2. Or a 5-4-1 maybe if we're playing defensive. Right? But I think a 5-3-2 or a 5-2-3 would be the type of football that, that, that we can cover defensively and and provide attacking outlets. 4-4-2 four, four, is not it. How do you feel about Ravel's performance? So he was playing a deeper role, which we saw on the ball hall, but it was just still not a good day from him, I believe. No, he, he was Ravel was, Ravel was woeful. Ravel was not good. Not good in the attack. We've seen Ravel play deeper and, and play well. Play well deep. We've seen him play right in front of the defenders and even tuck into the back line. Not, defend, not when we are, are defending, but when we have the ball, we see him come deep and he gets the ball, he spreads it wide and he carries the team. You know, almost playing in a... You know, you'd want to say a deep line playmaking role, you know, a Declan Rice type of situation, um, Andrea Pirlo maybe type of situation playing very deep and, and advancing the, 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 the game. I think it was Costa Rica, if I'm not mistaken, you know, where he played very deep at the National Stadium and he looked good that time, you know, getting the ball, moving it and playing it wide, getting his team going forward. But yesterday he just did not look good at all. He just looked... Yeah. He just look off the pace. He's not currently signing anybody now that can be attributed to it. He's currently unattached. So that could be why he looked off the pace. You know, he didn't look sharp. He didn't provide any creativity that, that we that we'd normally see from him. We didn't see any of those darting runs. He didn't look he didn't look sharp. He didn't look athletic. He didn't look pacey. You know, he wasn't he didn't provide anything for us. Go, he didn't provide anything for us defensively or anything for us going forward. So that's kind of scary. Bro, I remember watching the game and I was like, why, why is it, it's almost like positionally he's lost, bro. It, 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 it's, he was supposed to be the one to progress the ball. Yeah. You know, and he started with Alwyn Harvey, who was supposed to be that deeper player, right? If they're playing, you know, a two in the middle. But it's almost like they were always in a straight line. You know, no, none of them were ahead of each other. Rabbit, the one that's supposed to be ahead of him, the one that's supposed to be progressing the ball. He was not moving into, into positions where he was not taking up the half spaces. He was just standing still and waiting on the ball. And every time he got the ball, he started turning back the ball. And that's not what I expect from Rabbit Morrison. We saw, bro, I can't remember seeing more than one diagonal from Rabbit. I can't remember. You know, I can't remember two pass. I can't remember splitting the lines. And, and this is a player that we need. If Jamaica is going to do well, on the international stage against the, the better teams in CONCACAF, Ravel needs to be at least a 7 out of 10. And I believe, I believe that what we saw from him was at least a 5. Yeah, at best a 5, I mean. That was not good. So I, I expect it to be better in the national stage. It's a better pitch. You know, you got you, you got the feel of the game on, on Saturday. No, I expect it to take a step. You're supposed to be the experienced player. You're supposed to be the one linking up the player and putting your arm around Arena Harvey and putting your arm around Stuart and all those players and say, yo, let's do this. But I didn't... I, he didn't create one chance as our most creative player in the, in the team. And he's, on the day, he was definitely the most technical player in the squad. And the one that I believe Algimson was looking to, to say, yo, create something for us. Yeah. Get the ball over the top to our forward. Get the ball over, over the, the weak box to our winners. And he, make, he, make, he, driving, he, make, make driving runs to the midfield. And the person we saw taking up that mantle from wide and then from in the midfield was Omar Hutchinson. Yeah. I can't speak about him. No, what I thought Alcimson should have done is put Amar Hutchinson in the midfield to play a 10 and put Whisper on the right wing. I believe he should have done that and, and just kept. Um, I don't remember who, Anderson as a forward when he came on. I just kept. Yeah. Stewart as a forward. Yeah. I feel like he should have just put. Because, bro, he kept going inside. If you watch, um, Hutchinson wasn't trying to beat anybody down the wing and whipping crosses, bro. All of his crosses were either cutbacks cutback crosses where he, he, he chopped at the ball and his left foot and crossed the ball or he just dribbled inside he wanted to be inside of the field and i feel like we saw a couple couple um flashes from him where he could take up that rebel role bro honestly yeah i i see more as a, as a eight or a ten more than a wing and i said as, and, I and as a ten. not, not as yeah. a eight at all i see him as a ten out and out ten ten with the ability to play wide because we, yeah. we, we see that he has a skill good ball control and he's technical enough to get in squares and to get cuttings and and to win penalty kicks and so on and so forth but i see him as the heir apparent to ravel marston to take over the number 10 role but not necessarily number 10 shirt because we know who are going to get the 10 shirt yeah 
Yeah, my friend, my, my friend agree with you on that one. He was the he was my man in the match, personally. He I feel like he was the best Jamaican player on the pitch. You know, a 19 year old bro. Rabbit should have been that player. Mariapa should have been that player. They, Mariapa should have bossed the back line. You know, that's what we should have should, should have seen from Mariapa um playing in a in a in a in a in a, in a game with Trinidad. I'm not yeah. talking about Costa Rica, I'm not talking about Canada. I'm talking about Trinidad. And there are no scrubs by the way, but at the same time, we are Jamaica, bro. Yes, a B team, but we are this team is still better than that Trinidad team, and I saw enough to say that. Bro, it, it t- don't get me wrong, the Trinidad team is a good team. The Trinidad team are having a renaissance. The Trinidad team has good players, and the Trinidad team will be making a push to make, make the World Cup in 2026. Don't get me wrong. Mm. They will be in and around the final round. I promise you that. They are but good this team is better than them. Yeah. This team is better than them, but a, a shocking start. We, start. we didn't take a shot on target. If I can, I, I can't think of a shot on target. Our best chance. What was our best chance? Well, Dujan Richards got one header that he absolutely missed, and then he got one off his right foot that he flips. Those are two outstanding chances. No those shot on target. Those are our two best chances. We got in dangerous positions, though. We got in dangerous positions. Um, I think I think we robbed a penalty. Which one? I think Omar Hutchinson went down in the box, um, and I think he was fouled in the first half. Omar Hutchinson went down in the box. I remember that. I was on the sideline, and they were looking at me like a madman because I was appealing to the referee for a penalty. Mm. Yeah, so 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 Omar Hutchinson went down in the first half, and I think that was a clear clear penalty. Jean Richards. Chances, the first one that he created, you know, he was the one who ran onto the ball and cut in and he had it on his right foot and bro, he really looked, he, he really looked as though he, he, he didn't have a right foot in that particular moment, you know. Apparently in the fans, that, that, that's what many people were saying, he's not on the right foot, he's not on the right foot. I'm not sure what exactly was going on, maybe he got caught in two minds wondering if he should have played it across the goal or should have kicked it. And that's what resulted in, in, in the, 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 the lack of end product. Um, he also got a header that I think he just took his eye off the ball a, a bit too soon. That's 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 one thing that I was speaking to Mr. Butler about. This kid does not have very many weaknesses, but for a six foot two, six foot three, um, super athletic forward, I really do think he can develop in the air. You know, I said that to Craig and people that interview that second that part two of the interview will be released sometime this week. I said it to Craig and um, Craig. Do you think he can improve in the air? And Craig was saying he scored five goals in the head with the Manning Cup. And I was like, and Craig was like, how many players in Manning Cup even scored five goals? And I'm like, true, but we cannot compare him to a Manning Cup standard. You know, I, I think a player like him should have easily scored 10 goals with the head in the Manning Cup. You know, we, we've seen him just um, take his eye off the ball or not, not buck the ball, you know, with the proper technique or so on and so forth. And no, nobody's perfect. You know, he's not a perfect human being. So that, that that's the only point of this game that I think um, can be improved upon and it will be improved upon. I guarantee it will be improved upon. And by 19 years old, he'll be one of the best headers of the ball, considering that he already has the physical gifts. But I think that's an aspect of his game that 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 might be a bit lacking. And you know, you see, you saw the header that he got. Mm. Like he just took his eye off the ball, took his eye off the ball and missed the header. You know, I think he should have kept his eye on the ball and bought that ball to go. You know, yeah. clear cut. Oh. So. But, how, but, do you, how do you feel about Jordi and Fletcher? I feel like it was a bright spot spark in the first half. And yeah, um, like one of our most dangerous players. How do I feel about Jordi and Fletcher? Um, people, my thing is that I've been saying for a long time use the JPL as a stepping stone. Right? Use the JPL as a stepping stone. Play in the JPL, establish yourself, make a name for yourself, and then leave. Go somewhere else. Prove your dominance, show your worth. And Jordan Fletcher did exactly that. And he's currently in India. And he's he's our most un, he's our most informed striker right now. In fact, Jordan Fletcher is probably our most informed player. You know, um, and and because of that, he definitely he definitely warranted um, this call up. And I think he came on and he showed that he has intention. He showed that he has intent. He showed that he's technically good, bro. You know, he showed that he's technically good and I think um, he could have maintained his composure a bit more in the game. He would have had a goal, but he was definitely one of our best attacking players alongside with Omar Hutchinson in the first half. And I personally believe that 
from this game Jordan Fletcher, Omar Hutchinson, Dejan Richards, Dexter are the four players for me that secured their spot on the plane to the Aztecs. Say them again, say them again. My four players that, that thus far have secured their spots on the plane to Mexico. <clears throat> Jordan Fletcher, for me first. Omar Hutchinson, Dujan Richards, and Dexter. Lembikisa, or Lem- Lembiska, or Lembisaka, or whoever his last name is pronounced. I think for me, those four players, based on, <clears throat> based on the first game, have secured their spot. And yes, uh, I am saying that based on the game, based on the game, I don't think Ravel, obviously we know Ravel is going, but based on that game, I don't think he would have secured his spot based on that game. Bro, if, if you're a stranger watching, if you're not a stranger, if you're a stranger to the Jamaican team watching that game, you wouldn't know who Ravel Morris was. Yeah, I exactly. know that he had number 10. Where yeah. name? You get me, I said? Yeah, matter of fact, you, you wouldn't even wonder where he name. You would have, would have gone under the radar. You would have asked about the 18. You would have, would have turned the way everybody are real about. And yeah, you yeah, busy, busy had a good second half. You would have asked, who had number three there? Doing Atkinson. Yeah, doing, doing, doing Atkinson had a good second half, but uh, his first half wasn't very good. He was poor. I, I, he was I, don't, I don't think his performances, especially considering the considering the the competition that he has in his position, the likes of a Jamalo who is doing very well in the championship right now, Leon Bailey who is our best player, you know, Bobby De Carlo over Reed who comes on and always makes an impact for 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 for, for, for um Fulham, sorry. Um in addition to other players that we have currently playing overseas right now. I don't think based on the competition um doing that things showed me enough to secure a spot on that plane to go to, to mexico um at the end of the month but those four players as i said omar hutchinson or Fr- jordan fletcher omar hutchinson dujan richards and dexter lembisica um i think are the four players for me that based on that first game already booked them ticket to the azteca at the end of the month yeah and, and people asking for some clarification no he's not saying that Ravel and King would, would not be on the plane he's saying that just from that game on Saturday those four players are the best players and the one that the ones that secured their spot obviously we know Ravel has a gun right, no, Rav, Ravel has already secured his spot on the plane right Ravel secured him spot from before him come right so 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 we, we, Ravel secured him spot from before him come for King, me for me Richard King. for me Richard King is not secured mm. In my opinion, if I was speaking, no, I agree with you because the other day I, I looked at some center box that we have. Remember, we have Latibo Deere that played in yeah. England, same way. Uh-huh. We're not, he's a, he's a good player. We yeah, still have Moore more that came back. Staged, so I probably wouldn't go with him, but we still have Liam Moore. My collector is interested in playing for Jamaica still. So for me, Richard King is not nailed down to the plane. I think, I, think, I, think, I, I think, I think Ravel Morrison and, and Mariapa, and even Mariapa might not be as sure on that plane as before. But I think Mariapa and Ravel Morrison have already secured their, their spots. Their tickets have already been bought to go to Mexico, right? But the four that I think would have now recently acquired um, um, solidification, if that's a word, bro. If not, now I make up on the spot because I'm that guy, right? But um, I think the four that would have solidified their spot on the plane, um, Jordan Fletcher, Hutchinson, Whisper, Dexter. Yeah. Yeah, how you feel about Mariapa, bro? And it's overall position in the in the in the, in the Riga Boys team right now. In the look good. Him start tomorrow? Does he start tomorrow? Hundred percent. Not for me. So we just start over Mariapa. Jamaica. Try to see what we can get out of Mr. Bro, the fi- may I look for the future now. I know what Mario Pa offer. Me know what I get from Mario Pa. So who on the bench are, are your future? May I look for the future? So may I look for may I see Toby? Come let me see if you have so, if you want to show me something right now. Come let me see if you raise the level. You know, miss, me know what I get from Mario Pa already. In fact, it look it, it kinda look it looks shaky right now. But I want to see another game. Yeah, so, exactly, exactly, exactly. Because of his performance in the first game is exactly why I'm in need Mario Pa to start again. For see, sure. if, for see if it's a flu. For sure, me say, yo, I still deserve a spot on this team. All right, don't. 
or I don't deserve a spot on the team. Uh, Marape is also our captain. And that's a reason why I would start him. Yeah, but yeah, but we understand that these games are not about the best team playing. These games are about finding that one or two more players that the coach the coach is looking for. So as I say, I know what I'm getting from Marapa. The coach is in training. Him, him can see if he might lose a step. You know, he can, you know, see or talk to him and, and see what was up. We don't know what's gonna be behind the scenes. But I want to I want to know, bro. Talk to here at the game. See if you can talk to Marapa about that game on Saturday. And 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 what 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 he would chop down his poor performance too, and hopefully uh, we see a better performance from Mariapa because I would want to think that we have another year out of Mariapa or at least another competition, another tournament. So I was I was a little bit disappointed, and and I definitely the thought came to me. This is and, it. Another player that's also currently attached. Yeah, bro. So. This, and this I, game would not get the contract, I can tell you that. Nobody respects and adores and reveres Adrian Mariapa more than I do. Mariapa is, in my opinion, probably the third or fourth all-time greatest central defender for the reggae boys. And I say that with no doubt or inhibition. Mariapa is that guy. However, Mariapa is literally almost 40 years old. And nobody plays forever you know um, unfortunately cells lose memory and they don't regenerate like they once did and as such every time our cell regenerates it loses something and it does that until we die so it, it's a marry up a cell them them lose too much memory at this point you know so, so they, they aren't regenerating as 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 they, as they once would and and it's clear he's not the same player that he once was I, I, solid Premier League central defender and right back for years and years and years not to mention an outstanding championship defender for years and years and years and there's no shame in saying that Adrian Marapa's time might be coming to an end and I think Tuesday I would definitely start him and I also think Tuesday might be the last game Marapa ever starts for Jamaica Mm. It could be wrong, and and from the side, the signs from Saturday is definitely pointing in that direction. Yeah. You know that he's, he's he's a bit beyond it right now. Um, was released from his well, League One team, and that is never a good sign. Not League One, <laughs> you know. So hopefully, again, not even hopefully, Mariapa gave us all he could give us. You know, for the for the, the last couple of years, and if this is it, this is just it. But I want to invite the people on. I want to to, to hear what the, the people have to say about Saturday's game and about the game coming up on Tuesday. So I'm going to post a link in the in the live chat. Click it. You don't need to show your face. You just need to um, turn on your mic. I will talk. Is it? So Some, somebody said somebody said um, Mr. Cross said that Atkinson was way better than Fletcher. And I'd ask Mr. Atkinson. They both played in the first half, so that's what we can we can compare them on. What did Dwayne Atkinson do in the first half? Because Dwayne Atkinson did absolutely nothing in the first half. The number three in the in the second half, bro, for like 20 minutes. Before he was sub substituted off, he, he really picked up his game. And I remember texting you that. It's like, okay, Atkins not poo. But yes, Atkins was better than Fletcher. Where Atkins said, look, we saw Fletcher holding up the ball. We saw Fletcher playing passes. We saw Fletcher getting shots on goal. Just just not, you know, not, hit, not, not, not hitting the ball as he normally would. We saw Fletcher, Fletcher playing in Atkinson. You know, we saw Fletcher playing in um, Trevante Stewart. Fletcher was very involved. So, especially in that first half, because Fletcher only played the first half. Because I think after the first half, um, Hal Grimson was like, okay, we've seen enough from Jordan Fletcher. You know, we don't need to say anymore. Let's see some, some other kids. Um, Fletcher was definitely better than Atkinson in the first half. Fletcher didn't play any other second half. Um, so I'm not Lamar Walker. Lamar Walker felt like an afterthought on Saturday, bro. Um, as I said, bro, Lamar Walker is still young. Yeah, Lamar Walker is still still a kid. So I'm not sure why why he would have favored Atkinson, but I guess Atkinson is is, is, is a teenager at this point. Bro, um, and you know how much better is Lamar Walker than Atkinson? I think Lamar Walker came on and and he definitely showed intention. Lamar Walker was getting a lot of touches in the opponent's box. You know, it was just the end product that was killing us. You know, you know, I believe Lamar Walker is considerably better than doing nothing. And I, believe, I, I thought that he would have gotten the start, Lamar Walker, that is. And I thought that he would, would have been one of the first subs off the bench, but he was, I think he was the last sub. And that was an injury sub right for the way, Atkinson. So, 
Weird. Um, Lama Walker, I can't tell you, he had a great game when he came on, but yeah, could, that could be attributed to a lot of things, and, and not a lot of players had a great game. Yeah, but as I said, Lama Walker came on and he did get a lot of touches in the box. That was something that, that, that nobody else was doing. Just think about it. Lema Walker, Walker got the most touches in the box on his wing. And it was just the end product. Not producing a lot um, when he would get those touches in the box. Not, not making anything of it. Not, not playing good cutbacks. You know, that was the issue. Um, Ray Baba said the 20 was awful. What? Why you say that? Why you say that, Ray Baba? Awful? Click the link in the, in the chat and come tell you why you say that. Come talk to it. Um, as you said, no face, no trace. But I don't think he was awful. I feel like he was getting in good positions. He looked awful. so dangerous. Uh, he was the complete opposite. He was he was our best defender. Like I I, I don't understand what I'm saying. Him awful. What? Like he he was getting in squares. He was getting forwards. Like like him literally have the most successful squares. He had the most successful squares. He was getting forward. He was holding up Dwayne Atkinson in the, in the first half. He was the one carrying Dwayne Atkinson in the first half because Dwayne Atkinson wasn't playing anything at all in the first half. And if it, if it wasn't for if it wasn't for um, Dexter, you know, he would have sustained a lot more pressure. And he definitely helped overlapping, you know. Um, but I'm not sure. I'm not remember sure. he did lose the ball a couple of times. I remember seeing that he did lose the ball a couple of times, but he also recovered the ball when he lost it. So. I remember him losing the ball one time in the half and then he won it back and, and, and made a clearance and then another time he won it back and made a good pass. So, yes. You got the most squares. The most squares. Like, he he, he got a lot of squares that, that connected. Um, He was... Bro, and you compare him to the other wing back? Suma Kala? Night and day. Yeah, um, saying he was awful, I think that's an unfair assessment. I can't even say, all right, agree to disagree. No, 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 I definitely yeah, disagree. Yeah, because, McCann, McCann? No, may I say, I straight up disagree with that. Yeah, yeah, 100% disagree. Like, I'm not even going to say he was outstanding, but he definitely was outstanding. He was outstanding. Sure. Bro, you see my list while ago? Me, somebody said, like Mr. Cross, the Jordan Fletcher, um, Jordan Fletcher first command. I don't think Jordan Fletcher was the best, but, but in addition to his current form, and the fact saying carry him for him and come and, 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 and play well in the first half, Jordan Fletcher get the first ticket for me. The second ticket goes to Omar Hutchins, who was the man of the match, the most outstanding player and our future. Right? And then the, the third, Dijon Richards, came on, impacted the game, changed the game, 17 years old, wonder kid. And lastly, as I said, the wing back. We found a wing back. That was all I could say, you know, based on based on and his competence and overlapping based on his squares. Imagine the man take a corner with him left foot and nearly score. Him shoot off for the goal, you get me I say? With the corner and he, he was trying to score. You know, so... Um, somebody said Mal I'm guessing that's Malachi Molina. I don't think Malachi is quite ready yet. I don't think so. For, 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 this, for this situation. Bro, interruption. You don't have, have to tell me that, brother. You don't have to tell me that. <laughs> Yeah, Elgan here, big up for the interruption. He said, pure character, looking at himself in the mirror, saying, thanks for being you, with eyes popping out of his eyes. What are you talking about, my guy? <laughs> make some more now. Make some more now. Make some more now. <laughs> 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 so just make some more. <laughs> oh, Malachi. Malachi like the line from a poem, brother. Malachi Douglas, bro. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at that. How old is how old is Harvey? Tell me real quick. Oh, oh, Harvey and Harvey? Yeah. I think he's around twenty-five. You know. Let me check. Bro, I'm I'm not I'm not mad at the Malachi Douglas show. Coming off of a good performance recently, um, in the JPL, you know, we call him JPL players, and Malachi Douglas would fit perfectly in that four-four-two type of thing that Harry Grimson was going for. He's the guy for that. Douglas. Malachi Douglas, yeah. One more interruption, bro. Rush, you know, say a laps, Bridgin. You literally just, uh, you know what? Look for anything you want to look for. Look for it yourself, brother. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. But just let me do my producing job. Look for your information. <laughs> me, I tell you that straight. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Big up yourself. Big up yourself, Drew Fortis. You see me? I guess he just wanted to interrupt you, bro. So then interrupt, Bridgin. That's how. That's all it was. That's all it was. Big up yourself, Bridgin. Yes, um, Alvin Harvey by 97, and that's 
not young, you know, for football. Yeah, so 25? Yeah. Um, I got to be paid. One said the goalkeeper was woeful last game. He doesn't deserve another call up. That's not true. Nah. First of all, in the first half, he make a, the, the most crucial save of the game. Yeah, two big saves. Yeah, yeah, you remember that? Yeah. That one there, the reflex was like a cat, brother. Oh, the when first the, one, the first one. When I split up him and go. I mean, never even remember the first one. The first one was ridiculous. What? The first one was ridiculous. And in the second half, he made another save. But, but I'm talking about even the first half when the defenders, them are fumble. Richard King and Mario Appa, them didn't even know where the hell them are do. Which is why I'm going to say Richard King, the most make the play in for me. Because of that performance. A three times, them just do some foolish and them get through, you know. And him come out and him, you get me, I say, make himself big. You, you know what I'm talking about. And him, yeah, 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 yeah. Foster, well, yeah, Foster did make, make a mistake though. He did make a mistake. Um, yeah. but it, it didn't result in a goal. Um, I, and yes, somebody said can't get beaten from near post, but it was a one on one. The, the, goal, the goal is, take this into context, people. And this was something that I recently just um, thought about the other day. You see how high a basketball hoop is? Yeah. I want you to lay the basketball hoop flat and put a next one beside of it and then the next half of one beside of it. And that's how wide the football goal is. 24 feet wide. That's on unreal still no bro. Yeah, it's it sounds ridiculous. It's 20 the goal the goal is 24 feet wide. So take a basketball hoop, put it flat from the ground to the hoop, and then put a next one on it, and then put a half of it. And that's how wide the goal is. So sometimes when people are saying, yo, you get beaten near post or whatever, it was one on one. You get me saying breakthrough one on one and then tuck it. Him took it away from the keeper. You can't, you, I can't blame Foster for the goal. He did make one mistake. It didn't result in a goal, but he did save us countless of times. No, as I feel for, like it was a good performance. As for should he get another call up? Still I no. think say no, but <laughs> but not because not because of the performance that he had. You know, I, he's thirty years old. You know, and I think we have better who are younger, and we have for almost sure. as good who are younger, and then we have just as good who are younger. So we can't have better who are younger, almost as good who are younger, and just as good who are younger, and still go with him. You get me, I say? Yeah, I, mean, I agree with that. But I was just disagreeing with the comment itself. Yeah. I don't feel like that, that's, that's accurate. Yeah. Uh, may, I try, may I try to find the goal to put up? So we can, so we can take a look at it and, and how the goal happened, bro, because it wasn't a great goal to concede. In fact, it was against the runner play, if I'm being honest. Yes. Yeah, so, so all Mr. over them, bro. Mr. Cross says something that, that, that I didn't agree with about Jordan, about Atkins being better than Jordan Fletcher. I disagree with that. But in the same breath, in the same breath, he, he's very bullish on, on, on Lembisaka or Lembikisa. And I agree with him on that as well. Probably not 9 out of 10. But bro, he was good to me. You know, like watching him, watching the, 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 the left back, who is actually a right back. He's a right footed player who uses two feet. Good performance. And. My question to you is Rush. Dexter or Javier? I want to see another game from Dexter. But I feel like even right now, I feel like Dexter makes our squad right now at the right back position. No, as in, bro. I'm gonna tell us him, him gone from the play and him, him, him in our 26. If it's, a start, if it's a starting position, more I want to see some more from Dexter. But when I say defensively, I think he was good. His ball recovery was great. His recovery speed is good. He's actually quick, bro. Yeah. You know, we see we see ball play. I can't Alvin Harvey play a ball over the top. Yeah. You know, a combination between Lembikisa and Atkinson. And then Alvin Harvey play one over the top. And remember if you remember it and he run and pan it and beat a boy, push it down the line and one a four. And I said, I like that. Bro, that that intent, that speed, that's 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 everything that we want in our right back. Yeah. And defensively you never get caught out. Bro, and he's technically better than He's technically better than Javian Brown. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, but can't argue that. Technically better than Javian Brown. Like him can square the ball better, him can pass the ball better, and so I, I don't know if I don't know if if right now Javian Brown is like five years older than he is. You get me? He's considerably older than he is. Um, will you start Lemmy Kisa right now? I would have been mad at it. Yeah, I would have been I, mad at it. I, but, I, but I'm definitely not calling. We don't know if I call for it yet. As I said, I want to say another game. If tomorrow I'm go out and put in a similar performance. Or better. Or better. I feel like I feel right back position to lose right now. But yeah. at, at this moment, at this present moment, I job in position to lose. But it definitely can win it. And it's not even. I don't think it, 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 it's, it's super far. hard for him to win the position either. Yeah. 
You see me? So, I'm not going to be quick for replay Javin Brown just set off one game, but at the same time, it looks shaky. And he's also a Wolves player. He's also played in the Premier League against Liverpool. Not a fox. So, 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 you know. In the cup, but. Yeah. Not but yeah, fox. he's also played with the Wolves first team, my apology, against Liverpool. So, we know that he's somebody, he's somebody good. He's somebody for, that, that, that has a Premier League future. I would go with him. You know, you know, you know, pick him right now, my bro, right now. Mm-hmm. As I say, if you talk about And he's versatile because he played left back yesterday. If you talk about I would understand it. Um, let's look at the goal real quick, bro. It's a good goal. It's a goal to the Trinidad team. That's a good goal, bro. It's a goal to the Trinidad team. Um, our defenders have to be better than that. We have to be closer. We have to be closer to the to the far than that. But if if we're blaming the keeper, that's that's utter madness. Definitely can't be blaming the keeper for that one. And yeah, scoring at the near post is conceding a goal at the near post is never a great thing. But me look at it, me I wonder all right back there. Is that all right back challenging? Yeah, as I said, as I said, our, our right back should have should have should have been been on that. Our right back should have been on that better. That's for yeah. sure. Yeah. Question: Does Dujan Richard start for you tomorrow? Does Dujan Richard start for me tomorrow? Yeah, man, try to put the goal because I can barely see from my system. So yeah, bro, our, our right back chucking was awful and he finished the ball very well. Can't blame him on faster for that. Can't blame Kimai first for that. Um, does Dujan Richard start for me tomorrow? I mean, as the video progresses, bro, I'm pretty sure we're gonna do a prospective eleven, so on and so forth. That's something that we're, we're gonna do, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. So when you have... assess his performance based on Saturday, how you think? What you think, Coach Algrims? Oh, think bro, right now? Based on his performance on Saturday, that's not what I would use to determine who starts for me, regardless. You know, there's so many factors that I'd use to determine. Um, how I would set up my starting eleven um, tomorrow. So, when we when we come to the the the, the, the elevens, um, my prospective elevens, I'll, I'll go ahead and, and tell you whether or not I think I'd have Dijon Richard start. Right back and keeper. People are blaming the keeper for the goal. I'm not blaming the keeper for that goal. Um, the right back have to be closer. The right back have to be closer to that. I think end. position of the keeper could I do a bit better, but I'm not going to blame him for the goal. I'm not going to blame him. The, the, the near post is a little bit too open, but it's still, I can't say it's his fault. You get me? I say, if you, if you look on it, the near post is wide open. And him, and him reach him reaching that position too late. But again, if I'm going to blame somebody for the goal, right back. I don't think the camera angle is injustice right there, so. Awful angle, yes. But it look it, it just looked like it reached too late. Mm. Maybe in position and a little half for real. But yeah, after, he could have, he could have, he could have covered me post a little bit and he could have make himself way bigger. No, I mean I thought we'll make himself bigger. The man can't grow. We all thought we'll make himself. No, I mean I thought we'll rush out for the man and spread himself, bro. Why? You get me I say? Could have do better, but at the same time. Right back for that. And that goal is start from in the middle of the field. Mm -hmm. Too easy doing it. We can't say that straight up. Too easy. We shouldn't be conceding goals like that. I don't know what we are doing at the middle of the field. Awful. There are so many factors. I'm sorry about that, people. I was just looking at the goal. Um, I, in, Kemar Foster could have probably be a, be a bit position a bit better, bro. But I'm... Is it because of the way me keep? And you know, how the, you know the way me keep? We can kind of empathize and I also think the camera angle is not doing good. You get me? I say, um, can I say? We can move on from that. Yeah, I mean, I think I, I, mean, I think I feel for it. I don't know. Um, again, yeah, same thing. People argue with the position of the better. I'm number one badness. I would play with for 45 minutes in the second half. I'm saying do the same as the coach did on Saturday. Um, we have no friends. So Trinidad should 
should have refused to play on that disgusting field. Yeah, I fight it. Fight it, my boy. Rose Gold, which will be on the plane for Mexico. So start him tomorrow because he won't start against Mexico. Good point. Good point. And and, and that's that's a solid perspective. El Ganero, what do you guys think about bringing in 22 John Russell from Barnsley? He is in a solid CDM and we need one badly. We can't say that I watch Barnsley, bro. Yes, I'm, I'm not familiar with I'm not familiar with him. But if it is a solid starting starting caliber centre back for Barnsley, then bring him come to make see him. Make see him. Make see him. If we if we see Alwyn Harvey, then we definitely want to see a, a starting CDM for Barnsley. Yeah, for sure. You get me? I say so. Sure. El Ganier, I'll definitely check out who that is. Bro, I play on my fight on my, on my final board the other day. May I try to find him again and, and, and see. He must, he must start for I must start at the MLS. Obviously, take that, take that as you will. But may I try fine? May I try fine him, bro? We start, we start most games, play well. I'm thinking forget to look in. May I wonder? Try fine him. Jamai Collins, I say yo, um, we need to move on from Ravel. After one game, Jamai. One bad Caravel can come out tomorrow and just done the whole game, bro. And, and then the fight Ravel are the best. Yeah, six and square goal. I mean, I, I mean, I'm not so quick to move on from Ravel, bro. I, from most of the players that we have right now, I think the coach is calling the right players. That's why I'm excited to see the Mexico, the Mexico squad, bro. I think the coach has something up in his sleeve. Can I tell you that right now? <laughs> We should be watching Bayern to see that our players are playing in the pitch, bro. <laughs> Goalkeeper should not be beaten at near post. As I said, people, the goal is 24 feet wide. You know, in a one-on-one -on -one situation, what, 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 in a one-on-one -on -one situation, a goalkeeper is going to tend to a side, and if the forward is good enough, he's going to be able to beat the goalkeeper at the near post. In a one-on-one -on -one situation, especially um, in a situation that was that was a bit central. If it was closer to the goal line, then we could understand. But it was kind of central. You get me? I said it was kind of from a central position. So, Monaga really killing, Monaga really killing for being beaten at the near post. But I understand if you say in position could have been slightly better. I understand that. Yeah. The player I mentioned, bro, Tavon Grace, a center back can play for New York City FC, and he's 20 years old. Start and finish every game. Think of a game I look in. Definitely if we are if we are Topia and Kings and I feel like he can get a look in. Um definitely want to take him on a game then but we watch some highlights and I think he's a solid player we can look on bro. Tavon, Tavon Gray. But yeah, what the people must say Andre Blake got injured recently. And 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 also on Philly, bro. They may alone get a game, brother. They may alone get a game, my boy. We start one game so far. I wonder what is going on. What? Making a move like that, bro, I'd assume that game time at a, at a contending team would be what you're looking for. Not, not on the bench at a contending team. Why, man? No. Ethan Pinnock, Ethan Pinnock is Ethan Pinnock. What do you mean? <laughs> Ethan Pinnock has scored for really goal mobile. <laughs> What about Ethan Pino? Ethan Pino, I want to destroy his player, his pan, 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 match, match sheet. Ethan, Ethan Pino, can my first name for the match sheet. For me, Ethan Pino and then Leon Bailey. For me, personally. Ethan Pino, show on tomorrow. So that's mm -hmm. not with Ethan Pino. Question. How is how is Ravel getting called up at DC United actually approving him leaving when the MLS season just started? Makes to wonder why he's not getting game time for the club. Yeah, Raven is the only MLS player we see. And Joe I said he's unattached. I thought he was still at DC, but clearly uh, he's not. Yeah, unattached. You see me? So that's why that's that's how we came to you. Unattached. Crazy. Crazy. Bro, and, and that's the thing. It's not, it's not the first time Raven is 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 is, is, is being played, playing is played for Jamaica unattached. Yeah, bro, but right now we have too much play. Understand. I understand Rebel's quality. I understand it. Don't get me wrong. But he's 30 years old. If this is a decline, I will need to find that out fast. Yeah. If this is a decline, I'm never give the same grace when I give my rapper. May I tell you that right now? Mm-mm. 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 
So you, have play, you have to play 50 games before you can get that grace thing. Right. And you have to play those 50 games and it can't be up and down like we are saying for Rabbit. Rabbit, yeah. Rabbit we'll give you a 9 out of 10 performance and then give you a 5 out of 10 performance. We can't manage that, brother. You see, Rabbit is a player that I really like, by the way. Really like, I really enjoy watching Rabbit. When he's on top of his game, brother. Beautiful. Beautiful sight to see. You see me? But when he's not, passenger. In addition to the fact that he's a cancer when he's not as well. So not only is he a passenger, but there's also some extracurriculars that, that you know we're afraid of. What's he afraid of? <laughs> uh, so Christopher Wright says he's not registered to play, but he's still in con. I guess he, he needs in contract. Oh, so apparently he's not registered, but he's still at, still attached to DC. Interesting. Bro, no, no solid MLS players now get released right now. We can't tell you that. If you mean something to your squad, you now get released right now yep. at the start of the season. MLS just start like two weeks ago. If Ravel Morris was, he was going to be an important part of the DC United, DC just play a game. Him now get released. And that's the reason why Jamali Wait just come because the USA play for the weekend. Yeah. While our game are going, I think the USA, um, Jamali Wait was playing a match. So they release him after. You get me? I say, it surprised me when I see Ravel Morris in the squad. I was like, what is going on? And bro, I need Ravel Morris to make a move and he start playing some consistent football. Because I believe that this is why we now see the best of him. He now play consistent that even when he's playing in the MLS, his performance is never great. Yeah, he, he never come out and do the MLS like I thought he was going to. And he was getting, was a he was getting millions to play in MLS as well. A, a, on a good little contract. You know, they get a good little piece of butters and we they expect him to, to come out and, and, and work with Ray Rooney. He started the first couple of games, mm-hmm. but you know, he, he, he wasn't doing as well in MLS as I thought he would have done so. As me I said, bro, if this is a decline, we need to find out ASAP. We need to find that out right now. That's that's well, what we say, bro. And now we can't even be more comfortable with Ravel Morris going because Omar Hutchins is here. Bro, Omar Hutchins is you see if you have a play. I don't feel too bad about Ravel Morris going now that we have a Mario Chins. You know? and, and again, you say we know where I get from certain players, which is why I would be okay. You see if Mario Party just put in a good performance, right? I mean that's a bench Mario Party see somebody else. But as I said, I really want to see if Mario Party declines. So I see play. But if you bench Ravel right now, we know me, we know Ravel for offer. I want to say, if we play a 4-3-3, more I want to say Omar Hutchins is not a team. I would be okay with Ravel not starting the game, honestly. Is it me and, and I don't mean, expect, I mean, expect our players to, to age like Cristiano Ronaldo, I can't tell you that. So, we we'll see it. Kemar Lawrence, Alvas Powell. We we'll see it, bro. Players that are still not old players, but not what they used to be at 25. Yeah. That could be the same thing happening to Ravel. I don't know anybody else I said. I wouldn't be surprised, bro. And number one badness is agreed with you, bro. At least we have an, already have an, a replacement ready. Yeah, bro, we see, we see, we see. We see Omar Hutchins now. We see that indefinite has a potential to be that guy. And bro, if, imagine what, what can happen if we give him the keys. Yeah. Imagine what can happen if we give him the keys and, and him come back and him do the damn thing for the next couple of months. Bro, I guarantee you, if Omar Hutchins goes to the Gold Cup and, 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 and plays very well, he's going to get a big money move to a, to a lower Premier League team. I, I guarantee you, if Omar Hutchins really step up and like, because Bro, we see him again, Shindal, we see that him have the ability for, and the confidence to take up the game and, and, and be the man. We see that him have the ability to do that. And I believe he and Dijon Richards needs to, like, the program needs to revolve around them, man. Then. Which program? The, Jeff, the Jamaica program. Nah. Matter, right, Liam Bailey, dog. For the future, as now Leon Bailey did it to Leon Bailey, right now, with a big team, and I believe Leon Bailey should be the captain of the team as well. But I mean, the developmental pro, the developmental aspect and the future of this program should be heavily reliant on the genre. I, bro, I think in two years, Whisper is going to be better than Leon Bailey. Mm. Whisper is a way higher ceiling than Leon Bailey. Oh, yeah, yeah, sure. So, uh, right, now, right now, oh, right now, right now, at this moment. Bill, Right now, at this moment, building it on, on the box of those two players, I can't say yet. I understand what you say in terms of seeding and how the 
let's see their progression for the next two years. When we spot a, a 20 or a 19 and, and Omar Hutchinson a 22, if they progress on the expect never progress, I feel them team, give them the keys. But we can't say that right now at 19 and 17. But I understand in terms of ceiling, bro. And and if I was a, if I was a betting man, would I bet say Dujan Richards are better than Liam Bailey and, and Omar Hutchinson. Yeah. Yeah, I think their ceilings are higher. Hard of our midfielder in the world of football, but as a as a forward and the type of forward that, that Dujan is, I, I definitely can see that. Um German Colin Ravel has never been that guy, to be honest. And me don't never agree with him. I don't think Ravel has he, he's ever been that guy for us. We've seen games where he's the best player on the pitch. We've seen games where he's one of the worst players on the pitch. You know, we've seen games where we need him and he's just a passer by but we've also seen games where we need him and just banging a free kick you get me i said so but in terms of that guy i don't even think we're that guy right now when him on him really on yeah but but this this reggae boys team we don't have a guy guy. when he's on he's one of the best players in kankaka without a doubt apart from ravel who else you have from midfield who can marshal this young squad Midfield is definitely the weakest part of this team, and we need to start out our midfield ASAP. And and with a with a struggling midfield, make it even worse. The coach are trying to play four four two, and maybe that's why I'm trying to play four four two because but, him, him now be the creative part. But we think we have, have Ravel Marston. So not about already. We have Ravel Marston. So so that so we, we know what Ravel Marston have. We know what, we know what Ravel Marston has given us. So Ravel Marston is good. So that 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 we're not we're not going with the one maybe that time I'm going four four two. We'll and come again. Bro, 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 if bro, even when we play four four three, even when we play four four three, I will play Speedy and and Lambert and John Snow player. It's still on a hit, bro. You don't look good. Yeah, but when we play Ravel in behind the forwards, when Ravel on him on. When him on him on. Exactly. Then, so that's what I mean. So we know we know so we have it. So you know I can tell me so oh, that's why we play four four two and then play Ravel in the four four two. When we see Ravel, yeah, you can't be, can be Ravel on the 4 4 2, but you know me, that's saying when we get a better player, Ravel now in 4 4 2, but that's not true because we'll see him on the 4 2 against Argentina. Bro, as I'm saying, I swear to God, Algrim should just look for FIFA and take the best 11 rated player and play them in the simplest way to play them for the Argentina game. So that's why I'm not really take, 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 take note of that. But may I try to see? If I'm still gonna stick with the 442 in Mexico. Um Kokeda asks if Whisper um I gonna start or Whisper would have start for me. We soon talk about the starting lineups towards the end of the live. We soon start to start talk about how we feel the team should line up towards the end of the live. Yeah. Can yeah. Jamaica ever get Mason Greenwood? Um Dennis Chung said he reached out to him, but Mason Greenwood turned down the call up. Oh, he said that? Yeah. We start one. Yeah, Mason Greenwood is still is still set on playing for England. Even though Garrett Southgate came out and said that he won't be calling him up, but Mason Greenwood is still holding holding on to hope that he'll get to play for for Jamaica, for England. Mm, rough. Omari Bailey, they card over read all right sided players, good situation to be in, but bad at the same time. Um Leon Leon Bailey is a right sided player, but um Bobby Bobby uh, we don't play Bobby Reed on the left. And, I, and I've seen Bobby Reed play on the left before. He's, 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 I don't think his his best position is on the left, but when you have a Liam Bailey, I just say it go. A good talking mix, too. But another thing, yeah, hey, I understand it. Another thing is playing, if, if a 4 4 2 I go play, I would have, if, if a 4 4 2, you play Liam Bailey as one of the four of them, make him roam, make him drop off in the midfield, and play Bobby Reed as your, your, your right midfielder. If I that you want to do. Yeah. Um, Lloyd asks, would you say Bailey currently carries the team? No. No, he doesn't currently carry the team. I believe he has the potential and the ability to carry the team. You know, so right now, I did I say that two years ago, right now a time for the team, brother. Potential, I can't bother with you know that. But all right, he has, the, he has the ability. He has the ability. Yeah. He has the ability to, to, to carry the team. And you know, say you know, say with the players that we have, I don't think Jamaica needs carrying. Bro, play a good system, play our best players, and I think we can compete with the best in Kankaka. Bro, Leon Bill needs to be that guy. He need, yeah, he'd be that guy, but we don't need to carry. We don't need, need to be with Messi. 
Do I need to do with Mbappé? I think he does. I don't think so. To do what? To, to do what? To qualify, if he... qualify for the World Cup? No, 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 no. Win the Gold Cup? Win the Gold Cup? No. Win the Gold Cup? We need, gold cup? No. We need so. six goals from him. We need four assists from him. I don't think we need it. He has to be that guy. He can't just be, he can't just be a good guy. I don't think player. that's the only way we win, though. That, that's, that's what I'm and saying. And you see the teams yes, you call while ago? You call France and Argentina. Argentina have Lissandro Martinez and Di Maria and Alvarez and Elminiana Martinez and, and Molina. Those are the players that Argentina have. France have, have um, Truamene and... But and they're, they're, they're winning the World Cup is us. That's... That, that's no, but I'm, no, but I'm saying those teams have those players. Even in comparison to World Cup standard, those are all very good. That was just the, the players that I just called a while ago are very good players in comparison to World Cup standards. And those teams still needed that guy. In order to do well, you need that guy. You know, Mexico, Mexico do it. Mexico have that guy. But we see Canada this year. The reason why Canada was able to dominate Concacaf the way they were able to dominate Concacaf is because they had that guy. Mexico are the only team. We can oh, you can have that guy, but me I said in order for us to do well, the Liam Bailey doesn't need. Look for Al- Alfonso Davis wasn't Alfonso Davis in, in World Cup qualifiers. Canada win the World Cup qualifiers? No. Exactly. So but Canada, Canada is not Jamaica, bro. Canada without without Canada. Alfonso Davis is not Liam Bailey without without Jamaica. Liam Bailey without Jamaica is still a good team, yeah. Canada's Canada's second best player is still better than anybody we have. Jonathan David. Jonathan David better than better than um Ethan Pino. Yeah, of course. And Liam Bailey, of course, Jonathan, of course, Jonathan David. When Jonathan David come up from early, you think he might go Brentford? Possible. Or, J- J- Jonathan, huh? Possible. No. Jonathan, Jonathan David, no. Uh, he was one of the top, the top scorers in the French league, the same league with Mbappe and, and Messi and Neymar and Balogun and Jonathan David still has scored this one bag of goal in there. Jonathan David is a top, top player. No, top, I said no. Top, top player. But, but you tell me... Canada have the ability to have players like Jonathan David, you know, um, who, who, who is better than anybody else we have. So Canada would have the two best players on the Jamaica team if Canada you put, you put on the situation. Um, and... Bro, in order for us to, to like win the Gold Cup, in order for us to do well, we we need that guy. Every like most teams need that guy to to do to, to do ridiculously well. Mexico are the only team. I'm say yo, I'm say yo. Mexico are the only team. I'm say yo. All right. Mexico has never really had that guy. Bro, my thing is, me not me not me not even try to put out there or try to put too much pressure or whatever, even though it shouldn't matter to them, but. Him being that guy, great for us. Him, be, him carrying us, great for us. But if Liam Bailey is just consistently good, and all our players are consistently good, bro, we can win the Gold Cup. We, 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 go, we go finals without having a that guy. We go bro, no, we never go finals. We never go finals. Andre Blake was bro, that guy. Andre Blake was an R-road. Andre Blake, it, we, bro, you said we never go finals without that guy. We did. We literally and, had that guy. Fine. Andre Blake was rid- ridiculous in those two World Cups. He was like by far and away one of the best players in the whole entire competition, if not the best player in the whole entire competition. So Fine. we love that guy. Fine, but was that not an all-round good performance from a team? And I believe Jamaica, we need to focus on that more so than asking Liam Bailey to be I think, no, with, the game. With everybody, bro, if Argentina never play good, or if France don't, don't play good all-round, they not going to win. If Lissandro, if um, Cristiano Romero never do him do, and Debo Martinez never do him do, and Di Maria never do him do, they not going to win. But also in the same breath, they needed Messi to be what Messi is to win. And at the same time, I said, Jamaica had a good all-round performance. But Andre Blake was literally that guy. Andre Blake was one of the best goalkeepers in the world. Now have a problem with that. Now have a problem with that. Now have a problem with that. My thing is... So we need, Liam Bailey, to be, we need Liam Bailey to be this. Like, we need Liam Bailey to be one of the, the best players in the tournament. Or else we're not going to win. So we need Liam Bailey to be one of the best players in the tournament. No, and if, if Liam right. Bailey is one of the best players in the tournament, if the rest of the team don't play well together, we're still not going to win. My The point I'm making to you is, instead of asking Liam Bailey to be... Yeah, he can be that guy, whatever. He can be the best Jamaican player, he can guy. play well. Well, I know, I don't have a problem with him being that guy, being our best player. Your best player is usually that guy, whatever. You're a team. But instead of focusing and saying, oh, Liam Bailey, carry us, like the person suggested, that's how I disagree with. Don't need Liam Bailey to carry me. 
What we need is an all-round good performance from our team. And yes, Liam Bailey be the best player. We don't have a problem with that. Liam Bailey can be our best player. Liam Bailey can be scoring the goals and having the assists. But carrying us is a different thing. That's what I'm going to talk about. Don't yeah, focus yeah, yeah, carry on saying Liam Bailey, carry it. Don't do that. Remember, remember bro, Alvarez scored what, five or six goals this World Cup. Martinez was outstanding this World Cup. But yes, still, Messi still carried him, though. No, but that cannot me not say. Hold on, they think if Liam Bailey carry we may have a problem. No, but I'm asking you. Talking about our approach, bro. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. So in order for in order for us to to win, other players have to have to step up and step up to a, a, a high extent. I'm saying that is more likely. Oh, if Liam Bailey be great, if if Liam Bailey do, do carry we we'll win. We have a problem with it. We may have I'm saying, well. I'm saying if Liam Bailey is not a top five player. In the whole competition, I'm not talking about being Jamaica's best player. If Liam Bailey is not a top five player in the competition, we have no chance of winning. That's no, brother. No, brother. If we have Shaman Nichols not score goal, and we have Ravel Morris not play good, and we have Bobby Reader play good, and Ethan Pinnaker play good, and Damian Doha play good, Liam Bailey not have to be top five, bro. That's the point I'm mean, trying to tell you. Let's let's stop. Let's stop just putting all of this and say, oh, Liam Bailey, do this. Liam Bailey, come score six goals and four assists. No. If him do that, we win. But what is more likely? Uh, Liam Bailey scoring six goals and doing that and, and us winning? Or all around focusing and playing a good system, playing with all our players playing together? I'm players. saying if, if, all our, if all our players all around play a good system and, and Liam Bailey is not one of the best players in the competition, we won't win the World Cup. That's not true. That's what I'm saying. We won't, we're, not going, we're not going to beat a, a, a Canada with, with, with Alfonso Davis being Alfonso Davis. By the way, having an outstanding season. We're not going to beat an American. We're not going to beat a Mexican team playing like how Mexico plays. We're just, not, we're just not good enough to do it. We can do it. That, I, that, I can't that, 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 the same thing I said with Gold Cup. You, 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 you overlook Andre Blake's ridiculous performance. No, Andre Blake can be our best player. I'm not saying that that can happen. We are talking about what is likely in our approach right now going forward. Instead of saying Liam Bailey, like for example, let me can say Andrew 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 Blake carried us in that Gold Cup. We never yeah. scored a lot of goals. You get me? I said he made some ridiculous. Andre Blake carried us in that Gold Cup. But you also, also the first one, Michael Hector was one of our best players up until the last game we played. Oh, so I'm not saying nothing wrong with that bridging. Christian Romero, Debo Martinez are the same. The analogy me I use. What is most one? likely? That's what I say. You. You, what is as in and I'm, I'm saying the only way we win the gold cup is if Leon Bailey is a top five player in the competition. Well, I may have disagree with that. We don't think that's the only way we win. That's the only way we win. We now beat we now beat Mexico and 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 unless our unless Andre Blake is the best a, a situation like that where, where somebody Africa carry Jamaica, we're not good enough holistically to, to compete with the, the Mexicos and the Canadas and USA in tournament play. I don't think we're good enough holistically, but I, I think we're just good enough. Where if our best player or our best players have a blind of a tournament, we can win. So if Andre Blake can 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 bring back Andre Blake at those times, then then yo, we, we have a chance. If Liam Bailey can go out and score four and score five goals and get four assists, then we have a chance. No, for but sure. If, but the only way, no. I, I don't, don't, if them do that, if them do that, we we'll win. But if, is that the only way we can win? Nah, bro. Nah. If, if, if Andrew Blake come and be the best goalkeeper that, that is from the MLS, if Liam Bailey come and be, if him come and be great and the best player in the tournament, whatever, fine. But if him come and just give us good shifts and score the goals and, and, and give us assists where we need for pop up, where we need for pop up, fine. Uh, Bobby Reed come and be what we are seeing from Fulham right, at Fulham right now. If Shaman Nichols come and see what we see in, a, in a Russia last year and in a Belgium last year. If Ravel Morris will come and be the player who know him can be, they may look, we also can be. And then what about, and then what about, then what about, what about Western McKinney come and do him, do Tyler Adams come and do him, can do Christian Pulisic come and do him, can do that, then even if Liam Bailey, even if Liam Bailey, no, and I'm saying, bro, and I'm saying, if them come out and do what them can do, and Liam Bailey goes on and our Andre, we now win, we now win. Of course we can beat them. You might, of course we can. No, bro. America come out with, and everybody do with them, as I say, no. You know, say if Christian Pulisic is the captain of America, you know. Yeah, so Christian Pulisic is putting in some good shifts. And Western McKenney put in some good shifts. And, and, and Matt Turner and, and, and Maya Robinson and so on and so put in good shifts like where you say about Liam Bailey. And then Liam Bailey come out and score seven goals. And Andre Blake come out and have the best tournament of his life. We can win. We can beat any team. But we need one of our star players to be one of the best players in the competition. I don't think we have the all-around talent enough where like a good all-around shift is good enough. You, you use um, 
France and, and Argentina um, as, as examples. Those are some damn yeah, good teams. Those are some teams with some very good players, even in comparison to the World Cup stage. But those teams needed for their players to be better than they normally are. Or else them wouldn't them wouldn't uh, 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 do as well as they do. So I, I really do, I really do believe, I really do believe that we we, we need um, Liam Bailey to, to to absolutely be world class in order to can win the World Cup. I, I, I do believe that. Or Andre Blake. I give I give us a better chance than that. Um, hold on, the visionary. Visionary, are you hear me? Yeah, man, back here, Lord, thank you. Jomar, are you hear me? Yeah, man. Where are you saying on the bus? I cannot. Jomar, my team, my team. Jomar, you are saying that, Jomar, you hear me? We're not here, bro. Go, go closer to the mic or, or something. We're not. Yeah, chip out. All right, give me one second. Chef Apostle on the Whisper channel, too. You forget that one there. Yeah, you yeah, hear me? Yeah, man, I hear you. Yeah, man, where are you? All right, may I say what Russia said is for Argentina, just like how young Messi is the star person. But he, when he has four, he has an Alvarez. So Alvarez has four goals and then something. Yeah. And that, and that makes him worse. He now got a, a one man who he has to rely on what he has to do for what he has to in a game he has to do. You know, you want to see a team player go out and step in and, you know, step up to the plate. Yeah, I understand that. I may say, I understand that. But even if Alvarez do what Alvarez do, and Emiliano Martinez do what uh, Martinez do, and um, who else play good? You can say Paredes, Di Maria play good. Even if those guys did as well as they did, which is Depaul, which is better than they, you'd expect from them, them still couldn't win the World Cup. Unless Messi give them seven goal and three assists. So if Messi did score six goal and three assists would have, should have still be an outstanding World Cup. So then they need Messi to be the absolute best player of all time in order to win World Cup. Even though everybody else play good. And what Rush is saying is that everybody else can play good for Jamaica and 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 Leon Bailey not be the best in the tournament and Jamaica still win. And just like with Argentina, if Alvarez did continue to score them goal, there Martinez was still the a top goalkeeper and Moli, um, Molina the way him do and everybody the way them do. If Messi was not simply the best in you know, the whole entire world, Argentina still would win the World Cup there. And at that may I try to say so even if Shaman Nichols would come with him in him, him form, even if Mikel Antonio come with him last year West Ham form. Even if Ethan Pinnock come with him current Bradford form. Even if um, Andre Blake is his usual self. You know, even if 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 Ravel Morris. How you gonna say? How you gonna say us winning if that happen? No, I, I, we we still don't. Win. What, I, what I mean is, if they don't win unless, unless Leon Bailey come with him in Leverkusen, um, top player. You get me? I says um, Marshall League best player. You know the competition, Jamaica still low in, even if everybody come with them. No, America is not that that America is not that much better than us. For you to say that, bro. You understand say them good. Yeah, but they're taking into consideration that America go come with for them usual good self as well. Yeah, but if they, I believe that them coming with for them usual good self and nobody stands out and we coming with our usual good self and with Liam Bailey is not carrying us. We have a very good shot at beating them. I don't believe that they're bro, what we've seen from Jamaica over the years is not talent problem. We just see with a system and we're not playing a football. But they may know yeah, Ethan Vino and, and 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 Daniel Johnson, Raphael Morrison, and Nickel and Tony. Well, it's not a talent problem, but even though you say it's not a talent problem, they're supposed to play some ball. The other teams are still more talented than us. I say no. I say they are not yeah. that far ahead of us where you can say, oh, we now have a chance. No, bro. No, I think, but what, what I'm taking into consideration is that them come with them usual best self, and we come with our usual best self. They are going to beat it, heal and lane. No, no, no. Beat no. It. No, we can't say that. You want to play a comparison? You think America is that far ahead of us? Of course, in a, almost every single position. In almost every single one. If you do the player comparison in almost every single one, which wing back we have better than, than Adams? Which midfielder we have good like McKenny? You get me as a which foul they have like Reyna or Musa and you know what them goodly get Balagan. May I hear them goodly walk to America. 
Which forward, which forward do you have good like them Monday? You get me? I say who we have, who we have like Pulisic, except maybe Liam Bailey, and then maybe not. I just, I just eat and pinnock alone, eat and pinnock stand out, and then um, Turner and Andre Blake. I don't see a big difference between them. But besides that, besides that, we not, we not have the talent to match up with them, pound for pound, in a no position on the field, except we have one central defender that I think walks right into them team. Bro, the only place, the only position on the thing, obviously the midfield way better than our midfield. Not even close. Right. And that's, you, you can't glass over that. They have Zimmerman and Reem. They have Zimmerman Bro, and Reem. Bro, me literally just tell us we're central defenders. So you come make it like you have. Walana, 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 Walana. Yeah, you just tell us eat and pinnock. Can I finish? Can I finish? Can I finish? Uh, that's my starting point. That's not my point. We have, they have Turner, Reem, Zimmerman. We have pinnock. Um, low and Blake. Low and Blake. I, I give us a chance against them. I'm not going to say we're better, I'm not going to say worse. I give us a chance right here. Well, I'm not, them have... not better than them, but nobody else out of them the way you call. You know, Ter- Blake might be better than Turner, but he might not. Bro, I me, me never say we're better, I never say we're worse. I say we give them a shot. I give, give you a shot. Yeah. That, that, that Reem play for Fulham, our leads. Um, Zimmerman play for in the MLS, for, for yeah. like Nashville. And yeah. Turner, um, backup keeper for Arsenal. Brother, we not them, we not, we not them class. Reem, not good it's like Pinnock. Well, it's a central defender. No, I know you're saying, but me, I make a move on. I tell you, I'm going to say it. Me, move on, move on, move on. No, but I hear that. Me no, me, no, 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 I make a point. Hold on, I make a point. Obviously, wing back, this. Javin Brown, not good like this. Ramon, hold on. Not good. Done. Next. We can't finish. Ah, go on. We can't go uninterrupted. Ah, uh, go on. Robinson, fine. We are in playing at the Premier League, in play for a team where we're up and down, fine. We play, we play, we have wing backs in our championship. Me I talk about the levels. So yeah, Premier League talent, our lower Premier League talent, we have top Champions League talent. Um champions, um championship talent. Midfield we don't, have top, we don't have top championship talent. We have championship talent. Not top championship talent. Let's correct that. Ah, we have championship card. Yeah. So we have bottom, we have bottom, we have lower league, lower Premier League. Ta- them have lower league, Premier League talent. We have middle of the pack. No, but them have surgery in the desk, which is not a lower Premier League team. I mean, literally just to say surgery in the desk better than Javier Brown. Yeah, exactly. Like by by ways and away. And oh yeah, oh yeah, talk about left back. Sorry, I think a wing back. Anyways, here. so I am centre back. I ain't a group wing back. What? You just group the central defender them, but you're not a group the wing back them. Where, where may I group them for? Ah, continue, continue, continue. Relevant, relevant, relevant. Continue, continue. We meet for the midfield, McKinney, Adams, and Musa. All, be, all better than us. Ridiculously. And that's how we ever get them. And that's how we ever get them. Or for, for them forward line, them have, t- them have Timothy Weir or whatever. Yeah, fine. Weir, Weir play, Weir, Weir play in, a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a France. And in, Top forward in France, but we have a top forward in a Belgium and a top forward in a Russia. Oh, oh. What's your problem? We a also top, have Michael Antonio, who is a Premier League forward. A, a, a top forward in a, a top forward in a Russia. <laughs> that's him this year. Him not well this year, and that's fine. And and, and, and Anton is not a start. Anton. But hold on, no? Timothy, we are playing eight start eighteen games in a France this year, and him scores zero goals and have two assists. So what is your point? Yeah, but me I said Timothy, yeah, we are Timothy, we are a baller. Yeah, like Shemar Nicholson is not baller. Like Michael Antonio is baller. You say that, but so you think Shemar Nicholson better than better than Timo Weah? No. No, I mean I'm class, and Michael Antonio definitely I'm class. class. But Michael Antonio, no, 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 no. Michael Antonio is nothing, is nothing Reina class, and is nothing, nothing whoever else America go put that forward. Well, Anna, brother, me can't finish, me can't finish. Can you make a point? I mean, I say, me I show you how close we are today. But so, all right, but this way is so far in the close. No, Timo Weah. All right, for them, let's do it. Let's do it. Because Timothy Weah is not that far ahead of Shamar Nicholas and Michael Antonio. Honestly. All right. We're we just not playing a system for sure with baller them, but we're sitting with a baller. Them have, them have Josh Sargent mm. play for Norwich in the championship. We have Bobby Reed. We have Jamal Lowe in the championship. Well. Yeah, but, but Josh, Josh Sargent is not the man for them, bro. You talk about, you talk Brother, about... Brother, I compare, you yes, say yeah. position for position. I mean, I go yeah, position for position. You talk about Sergeant. Sergeant is not them top forward. They, all right, let, let's go another player. 
them 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 have a cast that we play in the in the in the MLS. Them have them have um them have Reina, them have Pepe. They have Morris. Well, you have a recent squad, you know, look for the man, them best players. Yeah, look for the World Cup squad. Is a reason why I'm going to ask them. I got them World Cup squad. This are them World Cup squad, bro. They have Jerry, obviously, top baller. But Jerry, that play for Dortmund, top baller, fine. But yeah, Jerry and Timothy are them best, are them best forwards. We have Liam Bailey and Mickey. We have, we have, eh? Christian. No, man, I'm not talking about centre forward. Or, can I play attack him the field? I will see him as forward. But yes, right. so, so, so we, we talk about Reina as them. Reina, Reina so and Timothy Weir. Wired man and Polish as them wired man. What are the man? So look at their attacking. Look at their attacking line now. Timothy Weir, Pulisic, Sergeant, Reina. We have Liam Bailey, Bobby Reed. So, so a four name you just called a while ago. And what? So the three names you call Weir. No, I'm not talking. Can you don't call three man in the midfield already? Bro, yeah. all right, fine. That that are them forward. Liam Bailey compared to compared to any one of them. Bobby Reed compared to Liam Bailey compared to Polish that may or may not squeeze, bro. So no bother with any one of them. Liam Bailey better than Pulisic. Come, Liam come Bailey come. better than Pulisic. As in, me, me agree with you. All right. But it's, not, but, but, but it's a maybe. It's not like say, oh, Liam Bailey better than Pulisic. I, argument done. I don't think that's the case. Liam Bailey better when, than Pulisic. Fine. When we agree on that. Put it to the side. I never said a disparity, bro. I said we agree, put it to the side. Alright, yeah, me agree with me. Agree Timothy Weir, in the class of Shamanicas, in the class of, of Michael Antonio. So anyone you want, pick, pick. Timothy Weir better than the two of them. They're in the, in the class, though. So the pool, man, we just get the police in the Liam Bailey class? Eh? Oh, yeah, you use the argument and then. Oh, yeah, I'm a point, too. Eh? So police in the Liam, all right, Liam Bailey and police squits. Timothy Weir and Michael Antonio squits. Timothy Weir and, 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 and Shaman Nichols just quits. I don't think so. Brother, are we not to utilize the man then, brother? Are that me I try to tell you? Are that no, me I try to tell you? I and then when you go from the wing... I tell you that that team the way you call while ago, Bridget. Position by position, Bridget. It, it not, it not really when I just go position by position. And it's not really close. It's close, brother. Oh, it's close. It's close, brother. Them kill we in a wing back, them kill we in the middle of the field, and then the forwards, them may be close. So, so, and so, then in a, in a central, in a central defender, we give them a centre back. We take a centre back, and the goal no, is not, the same. In a centre back, possible, it's, well, it's, it's very possible. Back, eh? It's very possible that our centre backs are better than their centre backs. Very possible. Both. As I said, Reem, Reem better than Lanlo, and I believe that Tyler Adams also better than Lanlo too. No, Tyler, Tyler Adams playing at the midfield, but. Well, well, when him play for Jamaica, he play. When him play against Jamaica, he stayed him in the play. A Zimmerman, a Zimmerman and Reem, bro. Zimmerman. It was Zimmerman and Adams did play centre-back against us. But yeah, Adams can push up in the midfield. That's fine. Reem, as a pair, as a pair, we are not a pair than them, bro. We just not put together well. You don't know think Reem better than Damien, though? Or Reem for better than... Reem, yeah, Reem better than Damien, though, you know. Exactly. As a, as a, eat, and pinnock, eat and pinnock every day of the week, you know. Don't get me wrong. Eat and pinnock every day of the week. I'm going to be set up before you start the argument. Do you get me? I said so. Yeah, 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 disrespect the quality of our team, bro. Nah, disrespect the quality of the team, bro. I think we're too like, far we off. And I'm not trying to tell, tell you. We're just going to tell you that the quality of America is just that much better than us, bro. But we can beat them, bro. But we need a player to be spectacular. So it was in the beginning, so it shall be in the end, bro. Until we develop our general quality more. If we can get if we can get our next Ethan Pinnock now. You get me, I say? If we can get in a Sergina Des type wing back, which who know? Lem, Lembi Kisa, Lembi Saka might be that wing back in Chile. Bro, you know what? You know what America do a we now do? They might utilize them player properly. No, so look at it. So America been a ball, so they never have be a year. Well, I know. Timothy, we are look at Timothy, we are stats, you know. America, we are stats, you know. America, America, you know. Well, well, America, I know. America, if America had a better coach, America would have been better. When well, they know. Be foolish is them players. But yeah, but well, I know. You are saying Timothy, we are this great messiah. And me I look for the man stats. Timothy we and ask gonna bag a goal in a in a France. Timothy we and ask gonna bag a goal, bro. You see me? So I him just play well for America. Play damn good for America. Bro, bro. in a in a in a in a in a France, he play 100 games and he scores seven goals and eight assists. That is not great. He start and, 48 games. And, 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 and Timo we are still a kid, by the way. Brother, that's not my, that's not the point here. Yeah. 
You get me? I say so. We not that far off, bro. Why we are, why we think say the, right now? Me I tell you right now, Chaman Nichols. Bro, we co- we considerably far off. You're kind of delusional. Oh, I'm delusional. I'm literally a match up man. Bro, so when we when the jo- me, me and you would just talk about the midfield alone, the midfield alone, and that is so so so, so important. You 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 gla- just a while ago you had with your glass over the midfield. Like you say, hey, 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 mid- no, no, me get them, me get them midfield, we get them midfield. But bro, for the midfield is so much better than ours. Than any other position is better than any other position for the world. So even if the rest of the team, the rest of the team them did squits, the way the man them would, the way the man them, me not talk about them dominate when we play against you know. Me not talk about the way how how them more talented than we in the midfield is that alone for sure how far off. Not to mention that, not to mention that them wing backs them fuck them dominate in a wing back. No, them dominate in a wing back play them dominate in a midfield. Well, I know. Yeah, them da- them dominate in a in a in a. In a... Bro, it, it has to be where we want to utilize our strengths. Our midfield is not our strength. So if we are to compare our player for player, yes. But why would we play a midfield dominant? No, but all right, so fine. You said midfield is not our strength. Fine. But then when you go up to the forward line and compare, it's still a very close comparison. Even if you give yourself the edge, which I don't give Jamaica the edge. Talent. No, I don't give Jamaica the edge. You, no, you say, say them you better say, than we. But no, yeah. you say give Jamaica the edge attackingly. Oh yeah, yeah, make it make it edge exactly. So player for player. even even if I don't, I disagree. But even if it's marginally, and you, and you say you give Jamaica the edge um, in a central defense, which I don't understand how you get that. You get me? I say because Zima because, man, Zima because... Man, the best defender them in a, in a, the MLS so they man low player, no? and then Reem is a is a is a Premier League defender. So I'm gonna say, oh, you give. You know, it's better than Reem. No, and Leah and Leah and and and. and Zimmerman, Zimmerman, no, low better than Zimmerman. No, me not say low better than Zimmerman. Zimmerman is that Zimmerman are the best centre back in the in the division. Demian Lowe did not play. Demian Lowe not play right now, but last year Demian Lowe was one of the. No, but you never depend on Zimmerman level. No, never depend on Zimmerman level. He was one of the best as a peer, as a peer. He wasn't an All Star, and Zimmerman was leading out the All Star team. No, Zimmerman, Zimmerman pass potential. There are levels. The best defender in the in the MLS. Me not say no, but as a peer. I put my peer up there with them, bro. I now say, what they put America level enough? Oh, the, the peer up there with them, but I say, you can't, you can't get, you can't get, or, 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 or central defensive peer the edge. I forget the, the American peer the edge. No, because they've been playing well even together. Though we, even though we have the best player of the four, but they talk about cumulatively, I forget um, for them, for them team the edge. Even though Ethan Pinnock are the best centre back be, between the two teams. I yeah, you know. yeah, oh, say, America ahead of us. Considerably, based yeah. on how they've been played, based on how they've been played. Not, I based, on, not based on how they've been playing. Them not American are playing a ball, bro. Compared to how they how them are play, bro. Bro, that's like what talent, that talent we are talking about. In a Conquer Cup, America the best team, and even when America not playing a ball in a Conquer Cup, them still are win Gold Cup. Are we are talking about winning the Gold Cup. No, America better than us, considerably right now. As a team, they are better than us. But me I say, if we see the best Jamaica. And them are the best America. I think we can't compete, bro. No, person. If we see the best Jamaica and them see the and them utilize for them talent. Paris 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 imagine if them have Adams, Moose, and McKenney just a bar. Alright, alright. That, 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 right. that done. Conquer Cuff done. Alright, granted. Granted. If we see the best Jamaica and yeah. America, they are what they are right now. Wow. Then we can we can we, we can't we can't give them a run for them money. But why me I got account for the fact that we are gonna see the best we and then them now gonna see the best them. So not, if we are gonna if we are gonna take that into account, I have to take into account that both no, teams are the best. No, me have to right now. Me have to talk about the America. What me have to see right now. Me don't know nothing about them, but me know my Jamaican team. Me know the squad that me have. And if I've been seeing that the next year, can I get Jamaica to a point where we are play the best football we ever see Jamaica play? And America, they are what they are. Them coach not change. They are what they are. We can win in a tournament play. Bro, we can't win, brother. Yeah, bro, but, but, we're years but, behind. And we can't, we can't take that into consideration. Because me have to assume, say, if we so lucky for get beautiful Amir Hamgrits, we're going to change stuff. America got lucky for get somebody good. You know, um, we'll see Leeds just lose them coach right here, say, it might march. It might end up in America. If America end up with a, with a solid coach and him start utilize the midfielder or the midfielder supposed to get utilized, then the only way we win a Gold Cup is if Leon Daly plays, which I believe he has the ability to. And Leon Daly is given the Leon Daly can be one of the best players in the Premier League. And if we get four or five of those performances, I think we can win the Gold Cup. But 
but if we if we don't get that from Leon Bailey, I don't I don't think we're gonna end up in tour. Bro, and Leon Bailey alone can do it, you know. Mr. Andre Blake can do it too. And a Leon Bailey alone can do it. But Mr. We're gonna, we're gonna need we're gonna need that performance from an individual in order for us to win. That's all I'm saying. We're in, in order for us to win, we're gonna win the Gold Cup, we're gonna need that individual performance that was just ridiculous. Read some of the comments and then we can get in our squad for tomorrow. Cause we'll just start with that for 45 minutes. I think we win it, win the debate still. People agree with you, people agree with me, bro. Yeah, make us read now. Go read. as in if it's a comment about the debate, we don't have to read it. But read like comments not relating to it. Some people say stop the foolishness. Bailey be, Bailey not better than foolish. I, but it's agree. I, I think Leon Bailey is better than Christian Foolish. Bro, and, and the thing is, with my heart, 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 I believe that. No, I believe so. I believe so. If Liam Bailey get a chance, he would have seen more than what I see from Pulisic right now. But it, no, it, it's very, very close. It, yeah, it's, it's, not a, it's not a throwaway debate. Obviously, with that debate, while I go, so we'd have to whatever yeah. play talk. But it's not, it's not far and away, bro. I'm, obviously, their talent pool is bigger, their resources better, their development in them country better. That is, I understand that. Somebody says, somebody says, Ivan Tony makes a U turn and switch to Jamaica, then we'd match USA forward to forward. 100%. 100%. Ivan Tony is as good as, as the rest of them. Ivan Tony is better than we are, brother. Ivan Tony is better than everyone of them can put forward. But I tell you right now. Yeah? Yeah? And then Liam Bailey done better than Pulisic. I will say that right now. But yeah, if, if Ivan Tony made the U-turn forward to forward to beat them, yeah? yeah? Then again, Balag I still think Ivan Tony is better than Balagan. But Balagan, like him, I consider American. Ma Patrick, Patrick Mattis said Pulisic, Dartman. And Chelsea, Bailey, Leverkusen, and Aston Villa, pre the levels and talk again. Bro, Pulisic got Chelsea, and barring, barring that outstanding Champions League final substitute appearance, like Pulisic has been underwhelming for Chelsea, bro. Underwhelming. So we can say safely, Pulisic is Aston Villa level. Yeah, yeah, mid Premier League level. No, I'm doing that. I think that's, I think that's Pulisic's level. Can it be Pulisic? I want to give a buzz over a team where you're any day, dog. Don't do me that, bro. Don't I want to see that. Bro, right now, we look back at the stats. And yeah, for America, Timothy, we are stupid. And buzz for Jamaica, too. You buzz for Jamaica, too. But yeah. if we go domestic, domestic, bro. Me, me a technical so on, on, on revision. Domestic. Bro, if, if, if me, if me, they have the choice. Obviously, I don't have the choice. So I shouldn't be saying this. But if I had a choice between pick. Team of the way are, are, are. bro. I mean, I ask you that. Tell me, honest, you'd have picked Shamanic if you get picked two of them off a while. You have picked Shamanic to play for your team over, over team over here? Yeah, dog. No, <laughs> Regine, that's cat, bro. <laughs> that's cat. If me, if me get the choice, Regine, Africa go with the way, Regine. Sorry, me, Africa go with the way. I love Shamanic and Shamanic is now my ball. Bro, we need we need for final. Bro, you know, you know, team of the way, team of the way, my mother is Jamaican, bro. That yeah, kind of, of, that bro, kind of for America, bro. different gravy, bro. Different gravy. Different gravy. I'm not going to go around. But I like I like how the debate split, you see me? I me, me never think I have a chance coming into it. I'm not going around. But me, if I think about it just after that, I probably have to agree with it for most days. You see me? But, but what I like to make an argument and obviously I have to defend myself. So I'm going to look at the debate and say, but I never foolish is my chat. <laughs> obviously, you win. I'm a gay. They are, they, are, they are considerably better than us, bro. But I feel like yeah, if we play with best football and America give away them been a giveaway over the last couple of years, we can beat them. Bro, remember good, you know? Still, you know? Omar Hutchins, you know? Yeah. Omar Hutchins, now be something, you know? Remember, Bro, there is a world, you know? There is a world where next year, um, World Cup, when World Cup qualifying starts, there is a world where Bijan Richards can be a, the best player in a can get yeah. Bro, there is a I, way where the can Ganga, Ajax, or Genk, or Toulouse, or Andalet, or Monaco, and go be a and go score the goal. There is a world. 100% agree. There is a world. You can go at that man or Leverkusen and go, and go be that new 18 year old like we see the other, where we see other people work. Counter cuff players. 100%. And you know what? Yes, sir, there is a world I genuinely believe that it's going to happen. I'm saying right there, sir. I'm saying right there, sir. Oh, Whisper, I, I believe he will be on loan for two years. I don't believe Whisper will play in the Premier League until he's 20 years old. But I believe when Whisper goes out, I think he'll probably go out and loan to... This is me speculating. He'll probably go out and loan to Belgium first, and then maybe Netherlands second. And, bro, I see 30 to 40 goal over two years. Bro, I don't know what brother. I see it. I believe it genuinely with all my heart. I see 30 to 40 goal over two years. And after that, I'm going to walk back in Chelsea right, right there and then. 
Yeah. I probably not Chelsea. Probably Chelsea get some money for you. Probably yeah. Chelsea have them team where they're in a top four already and exactly. they're need that next winger slash forward. They get me. I say, but are you the ceiling stupid? Right? What we think Jamaica need right now? We just need a mid. We need a midfielder. Obviously, we either do great forget multiple. But if we get that game changing midfielder, like, I mean, like, I like, about, like, like how we have. How we have the we have the way and the Pulisic, which will be the the, the the whisper and the Leon. So we have them two there. You know, we just need the McKinney. Just need the McKinney. We, we have the we have the um Reeman. If we get the Adams, we take it. Can we think McKinney better than Adams? But if we get the Adams, we take it. We need a we need a midfielder of that quality, a central midfielder of that quality. Cause right now, you know, bro. See, and it, and it now for be it now for be it now for be Juventus. It now for be Premier League go for try to save Leeds. It now for be that. It can be top of the line championship. It can be Isaac Hill. Yeah, we need we need a central. We need a we need a central. We need a set a top central. Yeah. The man uh, Patrick Matis kind of respect for me do like, Which me not going to hear my view with Joe Mar, they are considerably better. And if them play good and we play good, then beat it ten days out of ten. No, but, not ten days out of ten. Because bro, they beat if them play good and we play good, good. good. and Leon Daly, and Leon Daly come out and 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 bro, do please it. Please let me continue it again. Me right. say if them are for them best and we are our best, then beat you, bro. Cool now. Me agree with you, Jesus Christ. Anyways, man, I say I said the beat forgot. Everyone will Olympia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, Ravel is a good midfielder. Ravel is a good, a good midfielder. Bro. Yes, I mean, need to be more consistent, brother. And I think what Rush is talking about is a deeper, a deeper midfielder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We need a we need a solid defensive midfielder. Yeah. All right, we need to try something now. I think, I think it's time. Where we go? Where we go? Let me try something now. Is either where we go? Let me have to put Damian Lowe and Ethan Pinnock and try King. Try? Just try. We need to try something, bro. You know the central? Yeah. That's uh, our police said, brother, with the space team, don't stay bald again. Please forward on the stream and tell me how. That's our police call the stream, man. Yeah, and tell me how. And obviously, Come love embarrass them, you know. My man, man embarrass you. But it will never happen. If you are one of the most knowledgeable person that me know about the ball game and you can't talk to me about football, then how oh, dance all police are come talk to me about football. You're born big man, you're a fool. Or somebody will literally name dance all police as him hand me. I go come talk to me about football. You're, you're born big man. Man said Maggie wasted potential even though he's at 10 generally. Ah, here we are going to bro. Real quick before we start reading the rest of the comments. Let's see what, let's see what 11. Yeah. Who are you guys starting keeper? Oh, do, 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 do. I guess Jamal Lewis, I guess. Yeah. I guess why not? I think he would have been Jamal Lewis. I don't think he might fly in for nothing. Yeah. And he definitely not play against Mexico. I know I'm playing against Mexico. I don't know. Yes, Andrew Blake might be injured, but it still can be weight. That's going to be Barnes or can I boys? I'm all, I'm all not there. You said just like homeboy. But, Bridging, no bother with me, Bridging. Can I boys, Clark? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if, if you ever say if it could have been weight or whoever, then yeah, it, it no it overlook I'm all, bro. Yeah, it's not going to be I still think I'm all better than them, man. Yeah? 100% agree. 100% agree. But, so, yeah. We need to go weight, too. Yeah. Um, left uh, back. Left back. Um. Let me have a left back. Now when we start the same youth. Did I try my right back for Sisso? Bro, the man is going to be a right back, man. I know. I let me kiss a right back. I'm a two centre back then. I want to just call it a deep one, two pida guy. That's why I got drop it gut. Let me say two and kick. I guess Mario, we need Mario for the experience and to lead the team. Cause if you if you drop Mario for then you have to depend on Ravel to lead the team. I'm mean, going to know if I love that. Uh, so, who, who you are going with? Who you are going with? I mean, I give up 45 again. I give up 45 again. And, and, and King. And King need for King need for be awesome in that game. You can't play Trinidad and Yellow so far. I'm going to like it. And, and, and the other wing back? The other wing back. We have Thomas, though. No, I don't think who, 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 would it, who would it come on for for, for school, my colleague? Remember that. Who's on the team sheet? Who would it come on for school, my colleague? I guess I, I record Thomas for you. Yeah, I play Thomas. I start Thomas. Come on, I want to see Mickey's, alright? Where are you going to go there with my name? 
I want to say, but it never ever look sharp. Because what me want to say is, what I want to say is, oh, space teeth, space teeth, you must space teeth. That's our police like. <laughs> Sorry, bro. That's our police like him have it out for you. The man says, okay. "Stop, stop, 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 I want to start my rap out right back, but my rap out never like me could have managed to send it back running yesterday, much less the right back running. So, I'm going to go with Maps and, and King again. You don't go Maps and Topi? No, no, I'm going to go Maps and Topi. I'm going to go Maps and Topi and I'm going to go Ricardo Thomas and then Bikisa. Mm. And then, so you don't, you don't, you don't, you don't put Lemmy Kisa a right back? Yeah. Alright, alright. I'm on the midfield now. Obviously, I'm not subscribe to the 442. I'm going to go 433. 442. Not time. You see me saying I'm on midfield. Obviously, I'm going to start Morrison again. Just shot an uncle. I'm going to start, you know, me, the man, the man even get a run. I look like a fool out there, dog. <laughs> I think I look like a big idiot. <laughs> Cha -cha. But yeah, I'm going to go just shot an uncle. Um, for real, bro. For real. Um, Morrison and. You know what I do? I play Ravel in the 8th. Or he can, can be on a double pivot. He can, be, double, him double, can play flat, I don't care. Double 10 or flat, yeah. You see me so... Uh, 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 Hutchinson as my midfield, as my midfield. I agree with that. No change. I trust you. Just go with, just go with, just go with... Um, angling, yeah, I trust you. Angling just because, just because. Just because you said. I, either angling or flat. Yeah. What do you think about Alwyn Harvey? Never stand out against you. I don't think nothing. Not, not yeah. all. Yeah. Um, if, if, only thing I say about Alwyn Harvey is if, if, you're go, if I'm going to speak about you after that game, you would have a boss chip like, as a midfielder. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you yeah. never do that. Yeah. Um, yeah. Attackers, I would go three. May I go Dujan Richards as, as the right winner? Ooh, you start yeah. Dujan. Yeah, may I start Dijon Richards just because why not? Dijon. Yeah. May I start. Come on, the forward now. May I start Fletcher, Jordan Fletcher as my, as my number nine. Yeah. I may I start Lamar Walker. Still mm. want to say something from Lamar Walker. I may I start him as one of the winners. We'll see it before. I may think he can do a decent job against Trinidad. So Lamar Walker, Dijon Richards, and Jordan Fletcher as well. Yeah, yeah. Um, I have a start Lamar Walker. I, I believe that Lamar Walker is the, for me, Richard King and Lamar Walker are the JPL players that I feel like I have somewhere to go. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't feel Lamar Walker will be here for long, but I really believe Lamar Walker is way better than, than the JPL. You yeah. know, I, I just I just feel him get back out over there. You know, we see Junior Flemings make a quick pit stop in Jamaica before leaving for bigger and better things. So um, I believe Lamar Walker. Um, Tyler Roberts. Um, yeah, Tyler Roberts, good baller. Don't think Tyler Roberts is at the level of like Omar Hutchinson and Dijon Richards and and um, and Lemby Kisa, where we can say, oh, all right, you know, Robert. I don't think Roberts will be going to, to Mexico. I don't think he's one of those players that will be, be going on the Mexico trip. I don't think he's ready just yet. I, I, I definitely think he's going to play tomorrow. Um, we will. I definitely want to see him tomorrow, you know, to see how much he's matured. Um, but I, I don't think he's at that level to say, all right, now I'm going to start him. All right, I'm going to take him into our no plans. But Lemby Keys is in our no plans. Um, Whisper is in our no plans. Omar Hutchins is our no plans, right? Um, would I probably want to see more Splat. You know, I think Splat, especially considering that he's a, he's a central midfielder, which is a, a position where we're at a deficit. You get me, I say? So I would, I would want to see him, but I'm not sure if he's in our no, no, no plans. We never saw Casanova. Um, can't wait to see what Casanova has to offer because these are um, these are players that I think can help us in a weak position. But Tyler Roberts is in a position where we're not weak at all. You know, we have Jamal Lowe, we have Leon Bailey, we have Bobby Reed, we have players of of, of, of higher elk than than him. Yeah, Walker. Um, number one, Vanessa Walker, Anderson, Roberts. 
That's your forward line. So Tyler Rebels, Lamar Walker, and, and Anderson. All right, it's an Anglin Ravel and Hutchinson as in midfield. Let me kiss at Cummings, Maps, and Thomas. Mm. No bad. As we said, people, as we said, people, Jordan Fletcher, Jordan Fletcher deserve, deserve this. These, these are, these are, um, these are oh. what I think. I don't think Tyler Robert is in, is in my no plans. Good point, Owen Owen. Nor do I think if Hal Grimson have any sense he would be in Hal Grimson's either. You know, we have, we have players of better health, players who are better than he is. Um, yeah, people, put some put some starting lineups, man. Let us know who would you start. Who would you start, especially at the goalkeeping position? Because I guess right now it would be looking forward to one other keeper to add. Because I think Amal Night Spot is already there. Or two. Why you say that Amal Night Spot is already there? Well, Amal Night been get called up. Amal Night people. Get called up. By, by, by the way, there, there's a video that we're going to do. Um, we're supposed to do a video with Simon Preston, I think tomorrow after the game you know so look out for that we'll probably do it all with simon preston um but on wednesday there's a video there's a video that, that we have scheduled right russia we we'll talk about who we bring on the jet so we're gonna talk about me and russia's 26 man squad that we will we will carry to mexico um if we had the choice obviously we are not the person who's charged with making that decision but had it been us and bro, yes, I'm all night. I'm all night now. Have a spot for me. Oh, I'm no, all night. That team there. We are carry. We are carry. Um, one boy name. Andre Faster. Blake. Faster. No, Andre Blake injured. Yeah, all right. So, so if Andre. Blake... That's why I'm gonna say one more spot because I feel spot. So somebody will get push up. So we have a, a third string spot. And yes, yeah, yeah, so I'm all night one that. As in, as one of the three. If we're gonna pick three, I'm all night. I want a three. Bro, we have Dylan Barnes. We have Dylan Barnes unattached, brother. Huh? Dylan yeah, Barnes unattached. Dylan Barnes a free agent, G. But Miller, and then Miller, are faster. No, me, not Miller, faster. Me ask him to him a red call. Cause he be, he be, me Argentina squad. He be got Argentina. He be played. He be there Argentina squad. So. Faster night and when I jubi them, so he the boys clock. My two, we if it stops the boys clock, I wanted to the jubi them, Bridging. Boys clock is better than the man them, bro. So boys clock is not a jubi call up, Bridging. So we, we need to get rid of that. Boys, boys clock are supposed to be number two keeper, not because of age, but because of merit. It just so happens that boys clock is also young. But boys clock better than Amal night and, and Jamal Waiter. Yeah. Boys clock is a better goalkeeper than them. So I'm sure for you. Make that unequivocally clear. Boys Clark better than Amal Knight and Jamal. Anyway. So I'm, I'm sure right now for you. Yeah, so Boys Clark is not a Juby Carlo. If Andre Blake don't, if Andre Blake is hurt, Boys Clark start for me. Um, as I say, based on all the options, I guess maybe Amal Knight might might can be. But then, but then no, we talk about a Juby Carlo now. So if me have if me have um so say we have Andre Blake and Dylan, yes, Andre Blake hurt. We have Andre Blake and can I have West Clark. No mega have the Juby call up. No mega think about Akeem Bernard or Yeah, just him. Oh, yeah, Akeem Bernard, I'm to I'm to Corey Adai. Corey Adai is the next one too. 24 years old, I don't hear much about him. How how him up? How him stop? I've like, been did playing as well. Scandinavia? I don't know. Go check. Somebody said Adai time, then Adai time just start. Adai Adai kid, you know. Somebody said faster and night for the, the number two. Goal. The reason why I wouldn't go faster, even though faster, big keeper. Faster is 30 years old. I just that. Yeah, but I, I rate I rate come on faster as a keeper. Yes, Travis Pessoa is a faster better than night and that's me not, me not, me not upset with it. You get me I say? Faster a good keeper. And faster better at, at, at him feet too. Good keeper. So Kemar Foster is a good keeper. But Kemar Foster is, is old. Amal Knight is old. Not as old as Kemar Foster, but Amal Knight. I read that still number bro. Um, people, if you like the stream, like the stream, my man. Thanks for 6k subscribers. You know the vibes. Um, subscribe. If other, if other had a boat, then other had a boat. Take the last word. Take the last word. 
play some of them. No, I just like Nafisa. Have you know, some good players. Them. Have some good players. You know, I've not nothing to tell them. Um, thirty is not all for a goalkeeper. See. You have to consider say, at, the, at the World Cup qualifiers where I think about at the World Cup. And right now we have goalkeepers. We have talented goalkeepers who are nineteen and eighteen. So, so thirty definitely. Definitely all for me right now, based on the position of Jamaica. You know. we, not, we, we don't need two 30 year old goalkeepers on our roster. We don't need two 30 year old goalkeepers. Considering say, we have one that is one of the best goalkeepers in Gangaka. Um, we have 